everyone, welcome back. Um, we're gonna do the shell challenge tour. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day so far. Happy Monday. I'm actually very excited about this. I feel like I've been waiting for this for like two weeks. <laughs> so I'm really excited to get to do it. I've got us a bingo card. I got my game open. Um, everything is good and ready, I think. <laughs> um, so hi everybody, welcome back. Also Coffee and Zach and Emmy and Anne and Coco and Tur and Sammy, thank you all for the subs, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna have to sit here and start redeeming some shell tours. We'll talk about it a bunch probably today, but um, I know those of you guys that have done it before, you're familiar. You can just redeem uh, the request to your shell. Make sure you put your gallery ID in that uh, like text box though, so that way we can, you know, actually find you. <laughs> I need your username so I can look you up basically. Um, but we'll get to tour some of the shells from this week, or last week, or whenever it was. You know what else we need to do? Let me actually get the shell, um, let me, oh, that's an empty cat cam. <laughs> let me get the, uh, the shell open so that we can take a look at it. Um, and like sit here and stare at the empty box before we start, <laughs> you know? That'll probably help us. Okay, so the shell that we did this time was this. Let me come place her over here. And we can just stare at it. And then I will explain. Give me two seconds though. I want to give people a chance to come in because I'm going to explain it like 10 times probably. So maybe this way I can explain it like nine times instead. <laughs> if we wait a couple more minutes before we start getting into it, you know? Um, maybe I'll leave that there and then I'll just leave this open so that people will know what we're talking about. Okay, that should help. <laughs> Sandra with the prime sub, say it. And here for Lil Simsy and Dino and Love and, and Week and Papa Morgan and Robin. Uh, Watery, Chriselle, Chloe, Black Rose, Mariah, Phoebe, Sid, Jessica, uh, Brandy, Shelly, Bookworm, Chandra, Padge, and Massive Seagull, and Isabella, and Bay, and Gwen, and everybody. Thank you all for the subs. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I don't think that I did, though. We should be good. Um, okay. So, we built this shell about a week or two ago, almost two weeks ago. Um, and basically the idea of a shell challenge is that it's a a box. <laughs> Normally it's like two stories. This one was tiny. We did a tiny one on purpose. Um, a, a lil shell, if you will. Um, <laughs> and basically it's just a box that you download off the gallery and you have to turn into something. The rules are very, very open. Like you can pretty much do anything with it. The only thing that you can't do is change these existing walls that are here. The whole idea is that everybody kind of has the same shell to start off with. Um, and then you know, maybe I made a house and you made a restaurant or whatever. It's kind of cool because we all take the same thing and turn it into a million things, you know? Um, and so we're going to tour some of your builds today. I want to give a couple quick disclaimers. Um, the first one being that obviously it is physically impossible to open all of these builds on stream today. Um, there's going to be a lot of people here. Uh, I can see already, I've been live for three minutes, 410 people have put in a request to tour their build. <laughs> um, we're not going to get to them all. It's just not possible. We'll be able to get to some more than usual because the build is smaller. It takes like less time to look at each of these because it's, you know, only like one story instead of two or sometimes three. Um, but we won't be able to see everybody's on stream. And I don't want you guys to be upset. Like if I don't get a chance to tour yours, obviously my goal is never to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. Um, we just want to have fun and look at some cool builds. Uh, so if you're going to be really sad if I don't get a chance to see yours, I just want to like set some expectations now that we're not going to see everybody's. It's more just for fun we built this for fun um, and we're gonna randomly select names from chat to do tours of um, so we're not gonna get to see everyone okay I know most of you understand that but I just want to like manage expectations um, the other thing is that because this one is quite small I think a lot more people than usual will have done it um, because it was like you know less intimidating <laughs> to start with um, so that's gonna mean that like more people might be sad, which kind of stinks. Uh, but the bonus is that it's smaller, so it should be easier to, to see more of them. Um, so, you know, there's some wins and some losses there. <laughs> um, so the way that you request it, if you want to enter your name into the list of people to tour, I'm picking them randomly out of this list and it's a point redemption. So if you press the little egg button uh, underneath the chat, you'll see a request to tour your shell box and it asks you to type your origin ID. Now, please only do this if you actually built something for it, you know, um, but make sure you give me your username. Like mine is Lil Simsy on the gallery. I want your gallery username and maybe try and make sure that it's right because some people forget. It's not a big deal, but um, it just obviously I, I need that so I can find your build. So if you give it to me wrong, it's hard to find. Um, 
give me your gallery username so that we can we can find you on the gallery there. Um, and then we should be good to go. <laughs> uh, it's just that little point request thing down there in the chat though. Obviously it's kind of hard to read the chat right now because everybody is is putting their name there in the list. <laughs> uh, but it will calm down as we actually get into this today, I promise, chat. The whole chat won't be only point redemptions once we've actually gotten started. It's just because we just went live that everybody's in it. Um, and as long as you press the button, I promise you it worked. It only lets you do it once, you just get one entry, obviously, because it would be unfair if you could type it like 10 times. Um, and the other thing is, I'm not going to be picking them from chat. I'm not going to be like, someone's going to say like, oh, do mine, do mine, it's my birthday. I'm not going to pick them from chat. I know it sucks. Um, it's just, I feel like more fair to do it completely random like we normally do. Um, so no, there's no need to spam chat asking me to do yours because we're going to try and do them randomized, okay? Um, so hopefully all those disclaimers out of the way, everything makes sense. <laughs> um, and the one other cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is I made a bingo card. Unfortunately, I used Bingo Baker for it, so it makes all the text different sizes. It's kind of ugly, but we're used to it. We've seen it before. Um, basically, the way that we do these shell tours, um, we're gonna go to people's randomized builds, yes? Um, and I made this bingo card of things that I expect to see in people's builds. And if we find them, we'll cross it off. <laughs> um, we have a free space, obviously. So the things that I put on the bingo card today are beach house. I feel like we see a lot of beach houses, so it's not that far-fetched that we find something in Sulani, like on the water. Um, a cupcake machine, glass roof, um, a cat cafe, a woohoo bush, a huge lot. So in my head, I'm thinking like 50 by 50, 64 by 64, like, big lot, okay? Um, last time we put 64 by 64 and we didn't find any, so we're expanding it to also include 50 by 50 this time around. <laughs> um, telescope, obviously we have a new telescope that's small, everybody uses one. Rec Center is the new lot type. I'm curious to see if anybody will have done one of those. Um, a base game only build, uh, people using terrain tools, a tragic clown painting, <laughs> a house that costs over 100,000 simoleons. Um, something that is pink in all caps. This one, I feel like this one is uh, maybe a little bit subjective, but I, I think when we see it, we'll know. Um, like when, when we see the pink house, we'll know, right? <laughs> so that's what that means. <laughs> also a moat, which is different than just terrain tools or a pond. That's like a moat, you know, like water around the building. Very important. Um, a cow plant, perhaps. Uh, we see a lot of houses that are specifically for occult sims, things like a vampire house or a spellcaster house. So we have an occult sim section. This CC artwork one is for people that download like those things off the gallery that are like uh, paint like paint by references in game, but it looks like cool paintings and they don't count as CC. We see a lot of that. Um, this one is also kind of subjective. It just says creepy. I put this on all of my bingo cards for these shell tours, and this again is one of those things, like, when you see it, you'll know. Um, like, people will have, like, a graveyard, like, it, when you see creepy, you'll know creepy. So, that's on the bingo card. <laughs> uh, we have starter home as an option. We had this last time, and we didn't find one, um, but this time, it's tiny. So I don't think it's that far-fetched. The house is pretty small, so I think it's uh, there's a very huge possibility somebody could have done a starter home. Um, this one just says farm. Uh, and I don't just mean like somebody having like a planter box, I mean like a farm, you know? Um, shark pond, obviously. Used more than 10 packs. Uh, pet corner, which is not just having like a food bowl. Like a pet corner, oftentimes a cat corner, is a very specific dedicated pet part of the home. So it's not just like, oh, they have a litter box. Like it needs to be like a cat corner, you know? Um, you'll see it once, we, once we've once we seen one, you'll get it. It's like, you'll know when it's a pet corner. Um, and the last thing is a nursery because obviously with the infant update, I feel like it's probably possible that um, people will have done it. Hey, Quinn, the point isn't for people to use every single one of these things. I don't expect every build to have all of this, obviously. <laughs> I'm just guessing about, like, what we might encounter and, like, trying to put some hard ones. Like, I think it'll be rare that there'll be more than 10 packs. I think the 100k is gonna be rare. The big lot's gonna be rare. So we're trying to have some, like, things on here that are not gonna be common occurrences. And then some other things that are gonna be pretty common occurrences. Like, I honestly, I expect to see a lot of, like, 
the telescope or nursery, you know, stuff like that will probably be frequent, whereas some of the other things are really hard to find. Um, so we try to have a mix in the, in the bingo card of stuff that's like rare, stuff that's you know, funny, <laughs> um, stuff that's obvious, you know, stuff like that. And the other thing, um, the other thing is that we're only going to mark off one of these per build. So if we open up something to tour and they've got like six of the things, we're only going to cross off one. So if we go to somebody's house and they built a farm with a cow plant and a telescope on a huge lot, one, we get one to cross off. <laughs> um, so that's, that's kind of the rules with this. Um, that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, now, um, <laughs> 769 people have now requested me to tour their build. Um, so, yikes. <laughs> this is gonna be, um, listen, we're not gonna get to all of them. It's not possible. We're gonna get to as many as we can and we're gonna have fun, okay? <laughs> we're just gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and read some subs and then we'll start with the first one, okay? Hey, Mary and Ginger and KM and Joanna. Uh, who else? We got Tomatoes and Yen. Uh, we got Fresca. We got A, Grace, Say No to Gnomes, Rara, Night Elixir, Anya, uh, Patty, Watchers, Emmy, Kaylee, Hungry, and Sphinx, and Industrial, and Michelle, and Bexy, and Control Alt Delete, and Ice, and Daylight, and Sarah, and Deepest, uh, Kira, One Guy with Glasses, Blade, Ella, Gloomy, Sea Green, Flora, Emily, Appy, and Ratty, and Charl, and Moonbeast, and Molo. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Sandra, Giraffe, uh, Meow, Say It or Shut It. Thank you all so much. I think we're caught up. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. So here's the shell that we built. Um, I can show you quickly. I made mine into like a little cottage. Um, and then the people on the gallery posted theirs to hashtag Simsy Lil Shell. And you're going to see a lot of different kinds of things on there. <laughs> um, you're going to see a lot of... Uh, it's kind of cool because everybody takes it in such different directions. Um, obviously just looking at this first page, we've got like this one's in the snow, we got Realm of Magic. There's so many different things that people have done. So it's kind of cool. Uh, hey, Matt Blake and Stitch and Dr. Phil and me, myself and Macy with the five gifted subs. Thank you all so much. Um, I need some water and then we should be good to start. I always get a little bit anxious when we're first about to start the shell tours because I don't want anybody to be sad. <laughs> I like get super nervous that people are gonna be upset if I don't get to theirs when obviously like I won't be able to get to them all It's just not possible um, Is the bingo card in discord? Ah, uh, I didn't post it in the discord. Um, I suppose I could I hadn't posted it in the discord though um, Usually I just keep this bingo card for me um, Because it's not like the kind of thing where uh, <laughs> Other people can play along. We're all playing together almost I can put it in announcements though if you want to be able to pull it up yourselves um, okay. It won't let you hit submit or chat. Really, Sally? That's kind of weird. Um, I guess I could check your chat history, but I can't really do that easily for everybody. Uh, I will tell you that if you've done it, you can only do it once. Um, so if it, if it already said, I'll only do it again, obviously. Um, but, uh, tr maybe try again and see if it works this time. Okay. Oh my god, there's 842 requests. Okay. <laughs> Let's just start. The first one is Coco Crispy on Twitch, uh, and their Twitch user, or their gallery name, sorry, is Coco Plum 917 Let's just begin. Yay! Oh. Oh, great. <laughs> Coco Plum 917 Uh-oh. All right. We're not off to a good start. <laughs> We're not off to a good start. <laughs> Or it's era erasure. Okay, that's fine. Some people aren't sure what their gallery. Uh oh. Some people aren't sure what their gallery names are. Um, oh, you use console. That's confusing. Yeah. Um, it will work. It will work on console. Um, I don't know how to find if it's not coming up. Um, maybe maybe we hold off on yours for a sec, um, and let me know if you can figure it out, and we'll come back to it next. Okay. Um, how about that? Yeah, it's kind of hard on on um, on Xbox and stuff. I know if uh, you get a chance to check, let me know. This this kind of thing happens sometimes. It's okay. We will do the next one instead, directly below them. Jenny Wren. <laughs> uh, we'll do that one first, and then we'll go back to yours. Okay. Um, hopefully, we can find it. 
I don't really know how it works on console because I don't have a console. Like I don't, I've never played. Um, I just know that a lot of console players have a hard time figuring it out. Um, ooh, bakery and marketplace. That's fun. Okay, well, I think that's more than 10 packs. <laughs> so we could probably cross that off. Um, this is a retail lot. There's a playground outside for the kids to enjoy and a marketplace to explore too. Cool, and they made it on the cool new lot. Um, the 40 by 20 that we keep talking about liking so much. Let's go, oh, not on this lot. Oh no, oh no, I've made a mistake. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> this is gonna be cute, I love that. Um, let's go over to the right lot then. Only on three packs. Guys, I really want to emphasize that I think people are, are stuck on this 10 plus packs thing. <laughs> uh, because more than one person has commented on it. So when we do these bingo cards, it's just like a meme of a bunch of random stuff. There's base game on here too. You know, like we just have a but Obviously, 99% of you have like none or only one or two packs. We totally understand that. All, when you go look on the gallery, filter by most popular, all of the most popular builds are only base game. So many folks only do base game builds for these. It's super common. Like, it's not like it's a bad thing to do a base game build. Please don't. Um, please don't take it that way. Um, okay, here's Jenny's build though. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, I love this! Okay, I'm so excited to see what it looks like. So they made it into like a little retail store marketplace. Um, so they used a lot of the space on the side of the lot. Obviously, this is the main shell building. Um, and then they put... All of this cute stuff. We have like some of the eco lifestyle things. We've got some tables. There's some places to buy food. Um, we have like these little market stalls. Look at how adorable that is. Oh, this kind of place is so fun to visit because you get to like come here and buy some of this stuff too. This person is selling photos. Oh, those are nice. These pictures. I really like this. We got the bathrooms, there's some more food stalls over here. I love the fences that you did for this too. And do you know what? I haven't used this new item yet. This is from um, Growing Together. I didn't realize that the wood of it matched this. This is from Outdoor, or from Island Living, sorry, not Outdoor Retreat. This is the Island Living fence. The wood matches perfectly. Yeah, these are custom art, yes. These ones. So we'll have to see. Let's like look through the whole building before we get too excited about what to cross off. <gasps> look at this! Oh my god! They layered that rug with this one on top so it looks like this rug has tassels. And it's like a little picnic spot! Oh, that's really smart. This is why shells are so fun, because you get ideas. I never thought to do that. I've never- I mean, I layer rugs, but I've never thought about, like, putting a rug on top of the tasseled rug? That looks adorable! We got a little splash pad, like playground. Well, these are playgrounds, not splash pads. But they use the splash pad rugs. That's so smart for a playground area too, because that's like so realistic. Okay, and then actually inside the building, the real shell part, <laughs> uh, we have like a little bakery retail store. So they've got all the bakery goods in here. We got this little bakery case. I love this. Oh, I never thought about that. Putting the menu on front of the counters. That's so smart. We have some little tables over here. We have a bathroom, obviously. Swing set. This is an adorable build. This is such a nice, like, four gameplay build as well, because you could come here and get so much use out of this. It's so hard to, like, have this kind of thing on your own lot, too. So it's so nice to get to come here and shop and stuff. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is adorable. Um, these bakery items are from Get to Work, believe it or not. Uh, the gallery ID of this one is Jenny Wren. Jenny with three eyes, Wren, is the gallery ID of this one. Um, okay, let me spam that and chat a couple times for you guys. Now we gotta think about this bingo business, okay? What are we crossing off? So we have to think logically, okay? It has the 10 plus packs thing, and it also has the, um, where's the CC paintings? CC artwork. Which one should we do first? The CC art, maybe? The custom art? I think so. We'll probably find another pack build. This is gonna be rough. This is a little bit, uh, this row might be too easy for us. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, that's pretty fun though. Okay, thank you so much, Jenny. That was awesome. Uh, let me check if Coco from before had the, uh, found their thing again. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Moz, I'm gonna just put their username here so that we don't, uh, so that we don't lose it. And then we can go on to the next one, shall we? 
Um, all right, let's try and be not slow. Because <laughs> there's 931 requests. All right, DJ Artemis 1 is the next one. And their gallery name is Art801. All right, let's go. Art801. Shall we go? Really, Saley? I'm so glad. Oh. Oh, they built more than one. Oh my gosh. Which one should we look at? The food truck? Or should we look at this one? Oh my goodness. They make really good builds. I kind of want to see the food truck. Um, let's go look at the food truck. Oh, it's a 40 by 20 lot too. <laughs> they also built it here on this lot. That's so fun. Everybody's gonna build on this lot, I think. <laughs> We've all been so excited about this new 40 by 20 lot. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god! Are you kidding? So you know how I had that weird, like, diamond part they made it look like the door is open oh my god this is so cool i'm obsessed with this this is like such a this is why shells are so fun because they end up being so different okay well we have like kind of like a little park space over here obviously there's a bathroom and stuff this blends in so nicely and then the actual building itself, this is the shell, obviously, and they turned it into a food truck so your sim can sleep in here. We've got like all this stuff in the back of the truck. And then we have a fully functional restaurant. I think I left it class as a retail, but I assume that it's functional as a restaurant. Um, yeah, it's got all the restaurant stuff. So you can cook here. They've got like the, the waiter stuff. You can check in right here. This is so cool. What did they pick as the menu? They use the diner menu. That's so fun. This is such a clever idea. I'm obsessed. I'm like actually obsessed. This is so cool. <laughs> no, Lucia, don't feel silly about your own buildings. Everybody, like obviously like people do so many interesting things and yours is definitely really cool too. Don't feel bad about yours. Don't worry. Um, their gallery ID is art801, this person's. Uh, this is such a clever idea. I feel like I, I need to go around and like look around more at all the stuff because Even like the signs the way they've combined this logo with this logo to look like the burger joints logo. It's just really cool I'm obsessed. Okay, well I Don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I love this road They made too. the way they use this fence is the lines in the road and we have this stuff blocked off. I don't know this is really incredible. DJ Artemis is their Twitch name. Um, you should be very proud of yourself. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, should we go on to the next one? I hate to like move on too fast, but I, I do want to try and get through as many as we can, you know, so everybody's got a chance. There's 960 requests. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Okay. 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 Mischievous art is the next one. Um, oh, bingo card. Oh, I don't know if any of the bingo stuff was going to get crossed off by that. I'm not, I'm not sure that, uh, that was bingo. Nothing wrong with bingo. Not, nothing wrong with not being bingo. 10 plus packs. Oh, did it have 10 plus packs? Let's find out. Go back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's fine. Too easy for us. <laughs> it was definitely not over 100K. It's only 30,000. The 100K is probably going to be like the hardest one for us to cross off because um, the house or the building is so small. <sighs> Most of them are going to be like 30K or something. Um, <laughs> all right. Mischievous Art is the next one. Their gallery is the same as their Twitch. Ooh, Komarebi Retreat. If your sim prefers to spend all their time outdoors, this could be the perfect place for them. The covered structure has space for gardening, grilling, and entertaining, while the main house still has plenty of amenities for those bad weather days. Ooh. All right, let's go take a look. This is a 30 by 20 lot in Mount Komorebi. All right. I think yours is 25K. Yeah, I don't, I think that it's gonna be really hard for us to find one over 100K. Um, okay. 
Um, Coco posted? Oh, good. I'll check that after. Don't worry. One thing at a time. Um, yours is 300k plus? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully we, hopefully we land on yours then. <laughs> hopefully we land on yours. Um, I wonder how much mine was. I don't think mine was that expensive. Um, Alright, here's this one. This is from Mischievous. I love Mount Komorebi, by the way. Telescope! Telescope! <laughs> Immediate bingo checkoff! We also have a beautiful pond back here. I love when people do this with, like, the pond underneath the, uh, the house. That's so pretty. Okay, this is the actual main part of the shell, though. So we have this relatively small building. I love how they made this with the, like, fancy windows. When you, like, take the weird features of the shell and make it, like, I don't know, look intentional, it's just kind of cool. Um, so when you actually walk in, oh, we have this lovely little living space in here. This kitchen is adorable. That is so nice. Are you kidding? We got a little TV here. There's some storage. We got a small bathroom right here and then a little bedroom here. I like this closet space they made too. Oh, this is so nice. I love the floor plan of this. I think that this part with like the hallway and the sink in the hallway, this makes so much sense like for the small space as well to fit a bathroom there. And it looks really good. It's so interesting to see how people break up the floor plans because obviously like we all had the same thing to start with, <laughs> but it's so cool to see how differently people like split it up, you know? Anyway, so over here we have uh, some more outdoor space. I like how they did this with these uh, planter boxes in the wall there. That's super cool. But obviously in a small house like this, they tried to take advantage of the rest of the lot and put some outdoor space here with a fireplace, table. We got this covered gardening section. Um, yeah, it is pretty common in real life too, Leah, to have the sink outside in the hall like that. Yeah. I love this. This is, we've only seen a couple and they're all so different. That's why it's just so fun for me. Okay. I think bingo wise for this, we technically could cross off terrain tools or telescope, but I'm feeling like we're going to see terrain tools again. I would be very surprised if we didn't. I'm going to cross off telescope for this, I think. Because we're, we're going to see terrain manipulation again. That's no question. People put pawns in so many of their builds, I think. All right. All right. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm also glad that they're small because I feel like we can get through a lot more this way. Okay. So Coco, I think the first person, um, they said they, okay. They can't tell what their gallery name is, but they used a hashtag. So hopefully we can find it from that. Uh oh, come on, gallery load. They said they used this hashtag, Coco Crispy Builds. So that should help. There we go, got it. <laughs> Jungle honeymoon. Oh my goodness. Don't this. Oh, that's my my. <laughs> I started reading the description. It's mine. <laughs> I wrote that description. Their gallery name is Era Eraser. It is okay. Cool. This is really nice. I'm glad we got yours. I'm glad we got to find it. Um, okay, so let's go place this in the Salvo Dorado world. Um, was it 20 by 15? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. Thank you all so much for the subs and bits and stuff, by the way, chat. I'm sorry if I didn't get a chance to read your name. I always get a little bit overwhelmed when we're doing the shell builds. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, do anyone build theirs in Batu? Oh my god, that's a good question. I'd love to know. <gasps> Glass roof! Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Glass roof! Glass roof! Hey, Mischievous, thanks for the gifted subs. Your build was beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm obsessed with this. Like, this overhang and these plants here on the wall. That is just beautiful. This is a nice vacation spot, too, because we've got, like, a place to fish. We've got the table you can grill. Ooh, dragonflies, what's in there? More dragonflies, so. <laughs> it's like, is there anything scary hiding in the bushes? <laughs> no, just bugs. Okay, so you can use this. This is great to have in the world too, because this is the archeology span table that you like use for the gameplay of the pack. And then inside, do you know what? This house is great for a vacation rental because it's small. It's kind of like hotel-y almost. Um, this layout is completely different than the last one. I've noticed that a lot of people have done it like this, like with the um, the bathroom here, the bedroom here. I did this too, but their kitchen's on the opposite side. I love this with these windows. 
This is also my favorite tile in the whole game. We got a fireplace. This is just beautiful. I like this roof texture too, with the glass roof kind of snuck in there. That is nice. I really like that. I like this color scheme as well. You guys are making me want to play with Jungle Adventure. I've been planning to make a video this week where I uh, go back and play with it again. This is beautiful though. Does the fridge function? Oh, I think it should. I would be surprised if it didn't. Your sims are kind of smart, but I don't know. You can always suit it if you need to. I like how they've got it in that nook though. It's cool to make like use of the little corner, but I think this will 100% function. I would be really surprised if it didn't. You can even like, your fridges, the sims are, are not that smart, but smarter than we sometimes give them credit for. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, well, um, everyone? Glass roof. <laughs> this, this row somehow, I like randomized the, um, I put a list of things and then had it place them randomly. This row has turned out to be extremely easy. <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> we just need a rec center now. Um, we usually with these though, we always get bingo. It's more of a matter of like, can we fill in the whole card is usually what happens, but um, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> so thank you, Coco, for your glass roof. <laughs> this is beautiful. It really is beautiful. All right. I always feel weird. I don't mean to like skip ahead too fast, but I want to get through as many as we can. And oh my God, a thousand and seventeen people have redeemed requests. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. No, free is just a free space, Melissa. We have a base game button on it, but free space is just like everybody gets to cross it off. Traditionally, when you play bingo, there's just a free space in the middle of the card. So, all right. The next one is Sage Simmer. Ooh, they said Hidden Tree House. Oh my God. Their gallery is Laura underscore X456. That's a hashtag, not a... Let's take a look. Yeah, we're picking random ones, Tarek. It's the only way to make it fair. Um, we're trying to be as fair as we can by randomizing the names, so. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. I'm so excited. Okay, we got a hidden tree house. This tree house belongs to an old-fashioned artist who deserted his luxury life in San Maishuno for something a bit more natural. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. 30 by 20 lot, probably in, I don't know. Is this the uh, top of Henford on Bagley? I like that. I love a storyline. We love lore. <laughs> Tree houses are fun. I'm excited to see it. It's a good size for that too. Let's go see. It is Henford on Bagley? Okay, cool. Good. Good. Let's go take a look. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Look at this. These are individual beams placed. They placed individual beams as support. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy right now. Look at this. They've got like all this stuff so you can live off the grid kind of. They made a well. Oh my God. We have a huge garden area over here. It's all landscaped. And then you actually get into the treehouse through this ladder right here. They've got a porch. So you can like uh, do the woodworking table and everything. And then inside it's all wood because it's a tree house. This is so cool. Okay, so we have uh, like this beautiful little uh, plant curtain, which I'm obsessed with. Oh, oh my God. I didn't know this worked that well. This is the uh, Strangerville painting. They sized it down and hid it inside of the frame from Cottage Living. It fits perfectly. Smart. Smart. I didn't realize that size down to the same size. That's really good to know. <laughs> that is really good to know. I love this little dining table with their candles in front of the window. Yeah, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> you get so many ideas from people in these. Uh, they have a little kitchen right here. We've got a tiny, tiny, tiny bathroom. I love the shape of that. What a great use of the space. And then we have a little bedroom here too. I love this. Tree houses are so fun. You're making me so happy. I love this item too. This fishing rod is so good for this. Oh, I just love the like story of who could be living here and they'd be like hanging out in their little tree house. This tree, this debug tree is so good for this. I don't think I realized 
how how good of a treehouse tree that one could be. Because it's like, I don't know, it's got such a huge base to it. And the branches are so good for that. That is so good. This person's name is Laura underscore X456 on the gallery. Yeah, it's got a nice slope. <laughs> it's just so cool. It's so, so, so cool. Oh, and this little balcony part for their easel. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, let me spam that username in the chat for you guys. All right, the question is, when we say farm on here, because farm is on here, but when we say farm, we mean farm, and this is a tree house. I don't think it counts as a farm. It has a garden, it has a farm, but this is a tree house, not a farm, you know? Nothing wrong with that. This is just for our little separate game. <laughs> this is an amazing house though. Um, I think it's so, so, so beautiful. I'm loving this so much. Okay, let's go on to the next one. We'll try and get through as many as we can. Um, and again, there is over 1,000, so <laughs> bear with me. The next one is Maryland Birds, and I think their gallery is the same as their Twitch, so let's check that out. Um, you have to commit to it being a farm for it to fully count. Yeah, and a lot of folks make, like, serious farms. Like, farm farms, you know? What's a moat? Oh, it's like um, if there were water all the way around the building, almost like a river around the building. Think like in an old castle that's got like a moat and a drawbridge, but it doesn't have to be like that. It's They're usually more like windy rivers that people do in The Sims, so. Um, okay, we're looking for whatever. Oh, there it is, Simsy Little Shell. I'm silly. Oh, they used two of them. They made an onsen, okay, cool. And it's snowy. Oh, no, it needs to be all caps. Whenever I, <laughs> I try and type like cool in all caps to put a nice comment, but if I don't have caps lock on and it's just cool, that looks like passive aggressive and not nice. Cool. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's not what I meant. I was trying to be excited. <laughs> no, cool all lowercase is not the same as cool all caps. Not even remotely. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Okay, let's take a look at Maryland's. People do this sometimes where they combine two of the buildings to make like really big ones. Someone back in the day used to always make two of the shells into an Ikea. <laughs> and that's totally fair game as long as they're not touching. And they're not. So it's cool because it they like, you know, they flipped one, but you're allowed to do it. You're allowed to build any sort of extra building. You could like put a shed back here. So this is fair game. And it looks really interesting. I love the symmetry there. So when you come in here, obviously we have uh, the water back here. We have the hot springs back here, kind of like centered in the lot, which is so fun. There's a lot of places to sit out here. Emphasis on cool, honestly. It seems quite chilly out here. <laughs> it, does, it does seem cool, dare I say. <laughs> oh, anyway, so when you actually come up inside, uh, over here, it looks like we've got a place to get some food. So we have like a tea tea kettle. Um, we have the kotatsu table and stuff. We have the locker room over here and the showers. Oh no, I think that the uh, platform messed up. This happens, it's not their fault. Um, sometimes the platform on the gallery uploads it wrong. Totally not their fault. Blame the platforms. <laughs> I've, it happens to me all the time. Um, Okay, anyway, that's amazing. The showers are over there. And then over here, we have like some more seating. They even have some stuff for the kids. Oh, that's cute. Some places to sit. They have heaters. We got the toilets and stuff over here. That's adorable. I know, darn platforms ruin everything, huh? <laughs> it's not their fault. The platforms are just weird. Um, when you put it on the gallery, things break sometimes with platforms. You know how the columns like graze up and stuff? Yeah, but what a cool use of the corners. I don't know, that's just really impressive. I love I love this shower in particular, in this corner. I don't know. I feel like this was the weirdest part of the shell and I feel like they really embraced it. I love Snowy Escape. Honestly, this pack is so underrated. It's so fun. And I love the furniture items in it. There's just so many cool items like this thing. That's from Debug. I don't even think I knew that was there. That looks great. And it's really hard to make community lots that are this tiny, you know? They did a really good job with this. Um, and the Snowy Escape build-by is really good. It's really fun. 
Marilyn, this is awesome. I'm really impressed. I'm so, I love this. I feel like we've been to a handful of bills now and they're all completely different. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't think that we have any, you know, it's certainly not a beach house. <laughs> I don't think we have anything for the bingo card in this one, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, let's go and see if we can go to the next one. And yet still though creepy. Do you know what? Creepy was the hardest one for us to find last time. I don't know, we were really hoping. Oh, this per okay, the next one's name is Ellie the Grim. And their gallery is Simzilla's Corner. Grim Reaper? Oh, their last build is a cemetery. <laughs> but this build is a beach house. <laughs> this one is a beach house, so that's kind of fun. It works as a rental or as a small home. This is cool. One of your two is creepy? Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I love this. I love a beach house. Okay, this is a 30 by 20 lot in Sulani. So let's go take a look at that. Beach house is on the bingo card, so. I feel like I should clarify also, it's not a bad thing if your build doesn't have any of the bingo card boxes. The bingo thing is a separate game and I intentionally pick stuff that is either really easy or extremely hard. So it's nothing wrong with not, um, with not having anything from the bingo card in your build, by the way. <laughs> it's just a silly game. I don't expect people to have like a 64 by 64 lot, you know? <laughs> um, yours doesn't have a single bingo item. Do you know what? Mine, the only bingo item in my build, I think was the telescope. I don't, I, I don't think I had any of the other things in mine. So. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, this little beach house here by Ellie the Grim on Twitch. I love a beach house. Also, this item I always forget about and is so cute. I need to use that more often. So when you walk up, we have like a little front porch with a little dining table. And then when you come inside, oh, I love this front. When you come inside, it's all one room, uh, kind of like a studio vacation rental. They put some backpacks and some luggage because someone's staying here. We have this beautiful bed. I love the partition too, in between the door and the bedroom area. It's a great way to like separate a studio sort of room. Uh, they've got a little desk here, which you can look out at the view from. They got board games, we have a dresser. Over here is the kitchen. This is a nice kitchen, that's like a chef's kitchen. We haven't seen anybody do a big kitchen yet. They've all been quite small kitchens. Aside from the, no, the person who made the food truck, the whole thing was a kitchen. <laughs> that was a big kitchen. <laughs> this is like the fanciest kitchen we've seen so far though. That's beautiful. Oh, I love, I love the new fridge and stove from the pack. And then they also have like a bathroom separate, which is kind of fun. Um, that is so, so, so cool. So this is what you, this is one of the rules. You're allowed to put like separate buildings. Obviously you can have sheds and stuff. Um, and so this person has like put the bathroom off because it didn't fit in the main building. They have some bikes here. We have some towels. Ooh, shark. <laughs> they have a shark. Unfortunately, it's not a shark pond, <laughs> but it is a shark. <laughs> Never knew that. Yeah, we let people put separate buildings. So people want to put like greenhouses and stuff a lot. So it's a shark ocean. <laughs> uh, they also have these lounge chairs and stuff with the water underneath. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love a beach house. That's so fun. The sea is just a really big shark pond. Yeah, I mean, you could class this as a really big shark pond. However, it is a beach house. So that part does count. <laughs> that part does count. It's got a glass floor as well. Not quite a glass roof, but a glass floor. <laughs> this is pretty. I love this blue. Okay. Again, I'm sorry to move on if it seems quick, but I want to get through as many as we can. Um, the next one is from Madison Emily 8 and their Twitch name, sorry, their gallery name is Darla K219. Shall we go see? It's been a successful bingo. The thing is though, Sid, we've crossed off all the easy bingos. We haven't gotten into the hard bingos. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves. This person's a great builder. Um, this is their shell build. It's a pop-up Simsy shell. When two scientists, partners professionally and romantically, embarked on a project to study the native flora and fauna of Windenburg's crumbling isle, they didn't expect that their six-month trip would turn into a lifelong passion project. 
Oh, several years later, the tiny pop-up home that was intended to be temporary has become their permanent residence as they continue their environmental research. Lore! <laughs> I love lore. This is so fun. Okay, it's a 20 by 20 lot in Windenburg. Let's go take a look. Uh, Windenburg. I'm lost. <laughs> it's okay, Eugenia. Most people don't put, um, like, descriptions in theirs. Don't feel bad if you didn't. I, I don't want anybody to, like, watch this and have it make them feel bad about themselves, you know? I, I think that we should use this as, like, a source of inspiration or as, like, a, I don't know, a community project. Like, let's think of it as positive and not let it, like, make us feel bad, you know? I don't want any of you guys to feel bad because, honestly, sometimes I feel bad and we need to, like, brush that off. We're all good. We're all good builders. <laughs> Um, this is the little tiny house that they built. I love the metal on it. That's so fun. This is great for like the shape of the shell. It fits really, really well. So they have this super cool roof shape. I love the platforms they've done and the solar panels and stuff. Um, it looks like over here we have all their science things. So they have like some lab equipment and stuff. We got some plants, more solar panels, telescope. <laughs> Uh, we have some bees. We got some more planner boxes. Oh, this item. If you guys have the backyard stuff pack, um, this item is a bird feeder and it's got like VFX. So birds come and fly to it in game. So if you're actually playing on pause, there'll be birds here, which is kind of cute. Oh, they made a picnic blanket too. This is the second person today with a picnic blanket. I've never ever thought to do, I've never thought to put a picnic anywhere in my builds. That's adorable. Yeah, I'm obsessed with that. We also have some worms. Um, <laughs> and then we have some more of the machinery. We have obviously like this thing is a water generator. Um, this is like the recycling thing. Up here on the back, we got a grill and a cooler. Oh, they have a pet. Oh. And then over here, we have a chess table and a dining table. And when you actually come inside, oh, they've got a fancy kitchen. I love the color of this wood. That's so nice. Oh, look at that little cat. That's so cute. They have some pet bowls. We got this tiny little bathroom right here. We got our, our desk and computer. Look at their TV. Oh, they watch it from bed. Oh, and the pet. Look at the little pet bed in this window. Oh my god, my cat would absolutely die if she had that window to look out of. No, this is not a pet corner. It's a pet bed. Guys, raise the bar. A pet corner is a pet corner. This is a corner with a pet bed. We need a pet corner is a dedicated pet space. It's gotta have like multiple pet things. Come on. You'll know when we see it. Like when people make like an entire room for their dog. The dog needs a bedroom. That's what, that's me that's what that means. <laughs> we have this every time on the bingo card. <laughs> it's not new. <laughs> We have it every time. <laughs> this is cute though. It's pet corner adjacent. It is it is a corner for pets, but it's not the same. <laughs> the shell was too small to make a pet corner. If you wanted to, you would. If you wanted to, you would. <laughs> I guarantee you somebody did it. People love this kind of thing. Yours is a cat corner, see? <laughs> Anyway, I love this house. I love the little details of like the shoes by the door and I just think it's so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> I love this. These windows are, are pretty nice. I never use these. Um, these are the ones from university. I feel like I, I kind of never give them a chance, but they work really well for this style of a build. Right? We should probably use it again. All right. I'm obsessed. Madison, this was a great build. Okay, annoyingly, ads are about to play. Don't worry, chat. You won't miss anything. Um, I don't think that we have anything for the... Yeah, I wouldn't call it creepy. <laughs> I don't think we have anything for the bingo card on this one. Um, but ads are about to play. I won't pick anybody without you, I promise. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, hey, Evie and Cassie and Becca and Pixie and Random, thank you for the subs, everybody, by the way. I know I've missed a lot because I've been extremely distracted by... Um, many, many, many Sims builds. <laughs> but thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. Um, let me save my game too so we don't lose these that we've played so far. We already crossed off the 10 plus packs. Um, we did cross that one off. Oh, hi, Shella. 
How are you doing? Oh, Shella, I meant to ask you, how did your drop stream go on Saturday? How was it? Was it good? I hope so. Let me get the next one pulled up. I won't read their name yet. Oh my god, there's 1100. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna get to that many. I'm so sorry, chat. So many people built it this time. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of requests. There are a lot of requests. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, really, Shella? That's great. That's good to know. I didn't realize he was doing it soon. Um, that's great to know. Um, so if you guys didn't finish getting all of your Dreamlight Valley drops, go to Dr. Glue on stream. Hopefully you'll find them. Uh, find them? Hopefully you'll earn them there. Um, that would be good. That would be good. Um, okay. Um, so the ads are going to be done in 10 seconds. Please hold. I already picked the next name, so I'll read it to you in a second. <laughs> um, don't worry, don't worry. We're almost there. Um, yeah, a lot of folks have been doing them, say it. Um, they're, they're not done until like the 13th or something. I forget exactly what day. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is from Meow Poo Central. Potential pet corner vibes. Their Twitch name, or their gallery name, sorry, is Peanut Berry Lamb. <laughs> Uh, we're randomly drawing the names, Eliane. That's the best way we do it. Um, makes it fair for everybody, basically. Um, this person, though. Potentially a cat corner? Simsy little shell. Hashtag fairies. Helena was raised by a couple of elderly sisters when she was found in a bamboo forest when she was only a tiny baby. Her grandmas were believers of fairies and were convinced that she was a gift from a fairy queen and her subjects. Ooh. After their passing, Helena moved back to her hometown with her partner in hopes of starting their own magical life together. Lore. <laughs> Does that count as an occult house? Wait. I almost typed cult. I'm try I was trying to type cool. <laughs> Does it count as an occult house if we don't actually have fairies? I typed cult. I didn't mean to. It's just, I was reading out. I, I was trying to type cool and also... L listen, I don't know. I don't know. You say yes. Maybe it does count as a, a cult house. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the inside is like. This is cute, though. I like the pink accents. By the way, I should clarify. Pink in all caps is on the bingo card. When we see pink in all caps, we'll know. This so far is not pink in all caps. This is just pink lowercase. All right? <laughs> This is super cute though. I'm obsessed with the front. I love the use of these windows in this weird corner. I love the rooftop garden. Oh, last time, I think we had rooftop garden on our bingo card last time. And I didn't put it on the bingo card this time. I should have. I should have. I love that though. Oh, look, they hit some like easels underneath the stairs. That's adorable. They've got this whole painting section over here. We had a little table and a bar and a grill. Oh, this is so cute. I love the rocking chairs. And then when you actually come inside of the- oh! Pink. Pink. <laughs> They've got a pink fridge and stove. Oh, that's pink all caps. That's pink all caps. Come on. That's pink all caps. Look at this. Do you think this item was their inspiration for the storyline? Because that's so cute. The fairy house. We have this little pink table. I don't think I knew that this one had the pink flower swatch. I have never used that one before. That's adorable. And they have this little raised bedroom back here. Oh, this is so, I love the nail polish on the desk. They got a little bathroom right here. This is so cute. This table is from Snowy Escape. This one has some great swatches. I really like these patterned ones, but I've never used the flower ones before. No, this is adorable. I love the layout as well. The floor plan is so cool with the split leveling and stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, I'll take that as pink in all caps. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay, that is adorable. That is so adorable. I love this. We've seen so many cool things today. So many cool different things today. All right. There's now 1,130 builds. <sighs> and the next one is from Ken Bruce, uh, whose gallery is the same as their Twitch. 
Let's take a look. Who made that pink one? Oh god. Can we get a clip? Can someone go back and check? Uh oh. I don't- I don't remember the exact spelling. Or, honestly, I can't remember. Pina Berry Lamb. That's right. P-I-N-A-B-E-R-R-Y-L-A-M-B. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We need to find the Simsy Lil Shell. Simsy Lil Shell. This is my last shell, the New Year shell. Maybe it has CC. There we go. Oh, another beach. Oh my goodness. If you thought the beach was great before, get ready for the new cabana. Ooh. And it's a beach beach. Not just like a beach house, but like a beach. Cool. Okay, let's go see. I don't know if... Honestly, I don't think we've seen a beach in a long time. Like, people have built beach houses, obviously, but like a public beach? I don't think we've seen that in a while. That's fun. Oh, they made- look how cool that is! They kept, like, a lot of the stuff from before, like, the docks and stuff, they added to it, but they also turned this whole area- I love the shape of this patio space. What a cool concept. I love these open archways with the curtains. It's not just a beach, it's a beach in all caps. <laughs> Oh, this is so fun! This is great, too, if you wanted to, like, host an event here or something, because now there's a full kitchen so you can cook, you know? If you, like, forgot to make a wedding cake, <laughs> you can come here, you can bake one in here, you can, like, hire a caterer and stuff. Oh, that's just great. That is so great. They also have this, like, the, uh, the Lindsay smart speaker, so you can play some music. I think my favorite part, though, has to be this area, and I love- I love this. We have, like, all these lovely lounge chairs with the towels. Got a nice seating area. This is beautiful. I just- Sulani is such a nice world. I- like, these lots where the water- like, th where they're like, you know, not flat and it goes into the water is so cool. You can do so many cool things here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I love this. I love community lots like this. It's so fun. I think I'm gonna try and go to the next one so we don't get, um, we don't take too long. <laughs> I wanna get through as many as we can. Um, the next one is Donna Shailene. Shall we go on? Thank you, Rochella. Who was the last one? Um, the last one was, uh, Ken Brews. Ken Brews. Like this. There you go. Okay. Oh, they've done two of our shelves. It makes me so happy when I open people's galleries and then I see that like all their uploads are from our shell challenges. It's just so cute. This is from the last one. A home with a spa. But not the last one. It was a few months ago, but you get it. They made a home with a spa. This one is today's shell though. Um, they made a cute little home for a video game streamer. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay, let's go look at it. And there's a car. Is it a starter home? Oh, I didn't see. We'll have to check. We'll have to check. It might be. No, it's more expensive. Oh, okay. 35k. Oh, yeah, not even close. Somebody had to have built a starter home. Yeah, this house has, like, expensive stuff inside. See? They got a nice fridge. All right, well, here's the outside. I love that they made a carport. This is one of those tricks that's kind of useful when building with the shells. Um, because, like, sometimes the roofing is sort of hard to do. So a lot of folks will, like, you know, put big patios or put carports. Because then you can, like, extend the roof out to make the roof bigger. Even though the, like, shape of the building is kind of weird. Roofing really helps with the shells because the shell can be kind of... Odd. I love that carport idea though. That's such a fun idea. And they have this cute backyard, or I guess side yard in this case, but they have all these planter boxes. There's a swing set and a grill and everything. Oh, they were reading! I love when this happens when there's like stuff left behind in the build because it means they either play tested it or they just played in it. And I think that's that's really cute. Like a sim, you know, they were reading a book or something. Anyway, <laughs> they have this little front door. This one is from uh, laundry, nifty knitting. 
Laundry Nifty Knitting. It's from Nifty Knitting, but it's really cute. It's got some good swatches too. And they have a little mailbox there. And then when you come in here, we've got the whole place. We'll make it a starter. Oh, starter homes are under 20,000 simoleons, Quinn. Um, they're homes that like your sim can afford when you first start the game, basically. Um, I love the layout of this house. We have this little tiny kitchen. We have a living room. I really like this part though, where they have put this table, like when you first walk in behind the couch, cause that's so realistic to put your, your keys down. We have like the mail stuff here. Little dining room. We got a big bathroom. I did not manage to fit a bathroom this big into my shelf, so I find that very impressive. Um, we have a huge bathroom here. Look at the shelf with the clutter. Oh, it's so fun. And then we have their bedroom. Oh my gosh. I love this shelf. That looks so cute. All the little pretty things in here. And they have this adorable table with the gamer set up. Oh, and they even have a walk-in closet. How did you manage to fit a walk-in closet in here? Some of us can barely fit bathrooms into our builds. And you've got a walk-in closet? <laughs> this is the fun, this is so fun about shells. It's like amazing how we all had the same thing, but like we use the space so differently. This is a really clever floor plan. This is great. I'm obsessed. I love this room. This is so beautiful. I just, I find this so interesting how you managed to split the floor plan up this well. Because mine was totally different. <laughs> like, mine, mine was, um, basically, imagine this. I had, like, this was the main house. I had a bathroom and this little two-by-two, two, and my bedroom was here. So you had, like, a completely opposite. That's why it's just so cool. This person's gallery, I'll spam it here in the chat. I just saw them type in chat. Um, so they're definitely here right now. Um, this is their gallery name, Donna Shailene, if you're looking for it. Yours seems so small. That's the thing. That's what's so weird about it. This happens every time we do these shell challenges. It's like, how did you make mine seem so small? And no matter what we do, it's like somehow somebody fits five bedrooms in there. <laughs> it's amazing. This one's really small, so it won't be that bad. But sometimes there'll be like one person has a five bedroom house. The next person has a one bedroom house. And it's the same box. It's the same house. It's just like split up differently. It's so interesting how that happens. Um, it's not a bad thing either. Like it's, they're just different uses of the space, but it's kind of cool. It's cool how that happens, you know? Um, okay, let's go on to the next one, shall we? Um, the next one is going to be Avasaur 97. Do you think they like dinosaurs? We'll find out. <laughs> I'm excited. Let me in. Ooh, I said, let me in. I was waiting for the gallery to load. <laughs> you know what? This isn't the build, but you know how we talked about pink? They redid the goth house as pink. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, this is the, um, is this the shell? Where's the shell? What are we looking for? Um, maybe I'll go to their page so I can think straight. Hi, Hope. How are you? Simsy Lil Shell. Simsy Lil, Lil, here we go. Oh, you build a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is adorable. Lil Modern Pastel House. Oh, it's so cute. I love the purple tree. Oh my gosh. You've never done landscaping? This is your first time? Are you joking? Okay, well. <laughs> You did a good job. <laughs> That's cool. That's gonna look so good. I'm excited to see the inside. Let me tell you, my first landscape was not this cute. Yeah, seriously. <gasps> okay, spoilers, sorry. I saw, I saw a blue tile and it spoke to me. Um, this is adorable. This shell lended itself so well for like being roofed like this. This looks great. Is it a starter home? Wait, go back. No, it is 47,000 small hits. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even close. Sorry, I don't know. I haven't seen the inside yet. <laughs> I love the pretty flowers out here though. This is so cute. Around the back, we've got an adorable patio. Do you know what? 
I don't ever use this flooring. This is such a cute option for like a little pastel themed house. I need to keep that in mind because I don't think I realized we had that blue swatch. That is great. And this little pink mailbox too with the hearts. Are you kidding? Anyway, let's go inside. So when you first, oh yeah. Not a starter home. <laughs> Not a starter home. This is the most expensive oven in the whole game. It costs 13,000 simoleons. <laughs> this right here is a starter home. <laughs> Iconic. We had on our last uh, bingo card the most expensive oven and stove. That was like one of the bingo options. I didn't put it on the card this time. Um, that's amazing though. Okay, well they use the little flower table in here too. That's such a good swatch. We had this little bathroom. I was very excited about this wallpaper in particular with the cats. Um, that was the first thing I saw and immediately I was like, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we also have this really adorable living room space. I love this living area. This is so cute. They use a lot of the pastel pop kit in here. I love this shelf. We got a little desk here. And then we had this adorable little bedroom and they put the fireplace in the, in the like open area in my weird corner. This is so fun. I really like the color scheme in here. Not a cat corner, but a cat bathroom. <laughs> Does this count as a pet corner? No, I don't think so. But this is cute. This is really cute. They pastel popped. <laughs> they pastel popped off, huh? This bed is from the pastel pop kit too. It's really cute, isn't it? Yeah, this layout feels really spacious, doesn't it? How do people do this? I really love how there's sort of like a kitchen dining area and a living area separate. It's nice because like the shape of the room kind of like helps to separate the areas, but it's still open. I think this is really adorable. I'm obsessed with the exterior though. This roofing is great. This is really pretty. Ava, you did a wonderful job. Their name is Ava Soar with two R's 97 on the gallery if you're looking for it. Okay, let's go on to the next one. There's almost 1200 point requests. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna disappoint 1200 people. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt 1,200 people's feelings. All right, the next one is Sprouty Cat. <gasps> Sprouty Cat. Do you perhaps, Sprouty Cat, have a pet corner in your build? Okay, it's either Sprouty Cat or Piper and Dad on the gallery. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they're here. They typed OMG in all caps. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, the Bluebell Bakery. This is the Bluebell Bakery. We like bluebells and baked goods here. No bad vibes allowed. Only cat enthusiasts and pastry lovers. Now, hold on. <laughs> hold on. This is a 20 by 20 lot. I think it's in Copperdale. Cat, en that's not Copperdale. <laughs> cat enthusiasts, cat enthusiasts. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm excited. Speaking to Simsy there. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wait to see. All right. Well, they used a pond, which looks absolutely adorable. Oh my God. I love the shape of the roof. Oh, this is so cute. And this fence, the debug fence that you did, and this part with the tables and the little bakery case. Ooh. I love that. I didn't, what debug pack is that from? Cause I like that way better than I like the one that comes with, oh, is that just, oh, is this, is this the base game debug version of these lights? Huh. No, this bakery case is from uh, Get to Work. You can run a retail store. They've like baked stuff and put it in there. Oh, those are the high school years debug lights. Ooh. Okay, we have a beautiful pond as well. I love how it goes underneath your building. That's just so cool. And then we have like some more covered seating. They have a little bit of plants in here. Bluebells. Oh, because it's the Bluebell Bakery. 
And we have these pretty flowers here. And when you walk in, oh, look, they have the bakery case again. And they had their sim bake all this. They made some breadsticks and stuff. And then you can buy it here. It's technically a retail lot. Um, and then over here we have more. Oh my god. Wait a minute. I've never used this. That's perfect. It made by Kyle, was it? Oh my god, made by Kyle. Kyle's it. <laughs> Kyle's a baker? Kyle runs a bakery? That's like an Easter egg. <laughs> That's so funny. I love this little insight into like, who is your tester sim? Who did you have running this place to test? They had Kyle running the place to test. Iconic, as you should. <laughs> Uh, then we have a couple little bathrooms over here. This is beautiful. Wow, Kyle, man of many talents, huh? I'm gonna be honest, I know you're gonna laugh at me for this, okay? But my little blue suburban heart is singing right now because these windows are some of my favorites in the entire game. This blue swatch is just so pretty, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it just is. I love it. <laughs> I think it's so beautiful. Okay, well, I think on this, we should be able to cross off terrain tools, yeah? Because they have the pond back there. Very nice. <laughs> Sprouty, you did a great job. Their name on the gallery is Piper and Dad. Piper and Dad, if you're looking for them, if you wanted to download it. This is so pretty. I genuinely am obsessed. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, okay, let's go see if we can find the next one then, yeah? Um, so close to a cat cafe, I know. It's a retail lot. It does not count as a cat cafe. There's no cat items, chat. We, it needs to have cat stuff. Alright, there will be a cat cafe, I promise. There's always a cat cafe. Alright, the next one that we're gonna do is Mama Thomas 94, and their gallery is Melissa Thomas 94. Let's take a look. No, we're randomizing the user Starlight to try and give everybody an equal chance. Um, I'm picking random ones out of the list of people who redempt, uh, did the redemption, basically. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Well, they might have, I don't know if I'm missing something or, because I have custom content included. But this is the Simsy Big Mistake shell from before. This was from like last year. The fact that they did this and did so well is impressive. I don't know if they did the tiny one though. Cause I'm not being silly, right? I don't see it. He'll check on it. Yeah, it might not have been uploaded, Mama. Don't worry about it. I can come back to you. I'm I'm no stranger to that. Don't worry. Um we can come back and do yours if you can find it. Um or we can look at this one. <laughs> Just let us know. I don't mind. I mean you got picked fair and square, I guess. <laughs> um, it happens though. So, uh, I will, here, how about this? We'll, we'll do another one and we'll come back to yours, um, if, if you can find it. And if not, we'll do this one. Yeah? So we'll do them while we wait. How about that? That seems fair to me. Uh, mods, if you could be on the lookout for Mama Thomas 94 there in chat for me, that would be great. Um, well, uh, directly above them is Nettie Belletti. So you're in luck. <laughs> we'll do yours, um, while we wait. <laughs> Um, let's, let's do yours while we wait. Um. <laughs> Alright. Oh, cute! Oh my goodness. It's so adorable! I love, I love the build mode from growing together. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, let's go pop this into a 20 by, it's just in Willow Creek. Let's go take a look. I should have put Blue Suburban on the, uh, on the bingo card, huh? <laughs> You saw it on the gallery? Oh, really? That's cool. I'm glad. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jay, I turned off all of the other point redemptions except for um, the, the, the shell tour one today to make it easier for us. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, so around the back... Uh, they've got like this cute little pathway up to a beautiful, beautiful little swing set. We got an easel. 
You have a table and a grill, trash can and everything. That's so pretty. And then inside, oh my goodness, look. We've got, uh, we never get to see Murphy beds used. That's a death trap waiting to happen. I love it. Um, we have a Murphy bed. They've got their little TV across the way. This painting, by the way, always forget exists. This is one of the movie poster swatches from Get Famous. I used this for the first time in my yellow house for Not So Berry. And I realized there's actually some really good stuff on it. And like some of these things don't even scream movie poster to me. Like this one is just pretty, you know? Um, so great to use for stuff like this. I love this little dresser by the door, by the way, and they use the owls. No, it's not even CC, it's from Get, uh, from, uh, Get Famous. All right, over here we have a huge kitchen on this one too. I love the shelves above the sink. Well, you've seen some really nice kitchens today. So many of you have done some really beautiful ones. I love this as well, like the little uh, storage area. We got a huge bathroom here. And I love the shelves. I need to put shelves in my bathrooms more. Is this going on YouTube? Yeah, I post all my streams on my second channel. It's called More Simsy. And I'm gonna make a YouTube video doing some shell tours too. I'm probably gonna tour different builds than we get to today. Um, I do always, um, I do always tour like a couple from the shell stream in the YouTube video, but you know, kind of both. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's see if we can move to the next one. I love the clutter in here too. I think uh, Mama Thomas from before uh, found it. So we should be able to get there now. So we can go to that one too. Yeah, they have a good size bathroom as well. It's pretty good. It's a good, um, a good size. It's Well, it's the same size as everybody's, but it's, <laughs> it's laid out well. You know what I mean? Um, okay, Melissa's got the singles paradise up. Oh, this looks pretty. Perfect paradise for the pref young, preferably single, and ready to mingle. <laughs> if the Sims favorite colors are not pink or purple before they move in, it probably will be after living here. Oh my goodness. You're telling me- Oh, okay. We already crossed off pink in all caps, but this one is also giving pink in all caps. I'm excited. <laughs> I am excited. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Pink 2.0. Was this one base game or no? Oh, it's the base game pink. Oh, that's what, no, it's not base game. I saw somebody say base game pink and I was like, oh, really? No, it's not base game. Well, this is cute. I like how they have a pool in the front yard. There's actually a lot of really fun stuff to do in the front yard. We have like some uh, sports things. We've got water balloons, which I never use. I need to use this more often. This water balloon bucket is fun and it's only 35 simoleons. That's like really useful to place places. Cause your Sims can like use it to, you know, hang out with people and build fun. And it's so cheap. We need to like keep that in mind. Honestly, same thing with the balls because the balls are really cheap too. 25, 50 simoleons. That's a good price for like good stuff. Anyway, we've got some more skill building things back here. I love the pretty flower landscaping and I love how it's all black on the outside. This is a cool wallpaper. What is that from? Oh, it's the Get Famous one. No wonder I didn't recognize it. I don't know anything about Get Famous. <laughs> I don't know anything about Get Famous. Meowpoo, I did see your build, believe it or not. Um, if I've commented on your build today, then I've uh, I've seen it. Was there a woohoo bush? <gasps> woohoo bush! Woohoo bush! <laughs> I want to cross that off right now. I'm sorry, but that excited me just then. Woohoo bush. Woohoo bush. <laughs> okay, and then when you actually come inside, oh my goodness. We got the expensive stove again. Did I miss the memo? Are we all using the expensive stoves now? What are the chances? <laughs> I guess I put it on my bingo card last time. I love that though. Honestly, just go for it. Use the iconic stuff. Um, anyway, I love this layout. I love the bathroom shape. I feel like it's so fun to get to use these sort of weird shapes. And they put a corner tub. Oh my gosh, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're all just girl bossing, I guess, huh? Yeah. Well, corner tub in the tiny house, miraculously. Uh, we have a talking toilet, of course. And then over here, we've got like a little living room space and a bedroom. This is the thing. How do these people manage to make, like, how do you manage to make the floor plan so spacious feeling when it's so small? 
it's just so fun to see how different people do it. I haven't seen anybody do the kitchen like this. I love this diagonal wall with the table. You know what? Words that I never thought I'd say. <laughs> I love this diagonal wall. <laughs> amazing. It's just amazing. I love it. No sink. Oh, they don't need one. It's all pink. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm anti-sink too. Your sims just get water glasses all the time. Who needs one? <laughs> no, I love this. I love this so much. This is super cute. I'm glad we got to see it. Um, let's go take a look at the next one then, yeah? And they had a woohoo bush. All the boxes. All the boxes. Okay, the next one is uh, Teodora and their gallery name, T-E-O-W-O-D-O-R-A. Not that that helps you guys. I said it so fast. Um, do I know who Vixella is? <laughs> I'm familiar with her, yeah. Um, she's been to my house multiple times. We're very good friends. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Oh, are there ads playing? Oh, no. I'll wait. I'm familiar with her work. I'm familiar with Vixella. <laughs> uh, I've, I've heard of her. <laughs> if I know it's Ray and Cat and Mistake and Snow and Jupiter and Rachel and Lucky, thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, Nike, it's so fun. I feel like we get so much inspiration from watching other people's builds like this. Um, it's really fun to be able to, like, see what people do and how people use stuff as well. Um, it's really cool how different everybody does with it and how differently they take it. So it's nice to be able to, to see, you know, didn't get to ads either. Oh yeah, it doesn't give them to everybody. It gives them to some people, but I have no way of knowing who, so. Taylor comes to Tampa in three days. How you feeling? Leah? Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I am wearing Taylor Swift merch today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm very, very excited. <laughs> Thoughts on the rumors? I don't want to talk about it. I feel bad for her. That sucks. To be honest, I have, look, this is maybe like we're getting deep here. I have a lot of anxiety about public eye breakups. Obviously, I don't anticipate this happening to me ever in my life, but I have a lot of anxiety about people having to go through that and, like, deal with that publicly. To me, that seems like such a nightmare. Like, if that ever happened to me, I'd- oh my god. <laughs> like, the thought of having to navigate that is so scary to me, and I guess maybe because, like, you know, it would be a nightmare if I had to do it. So I- to me, I- oh, it hurts my little heart. I feel so bad for anybody who has to do that. That's so horrible. That just sucks. It sucks. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I just can't even imagine having to do that, so. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's like, as if it's not bad enough just it happening, but then you have to deal with, like, people commenting on it. Ugh! And then you gotta, like, address it. Ugh! <laughs> and it sucks, like, obviously YouTubers have to do that some all the time, because, like, they share their relationship, and then... Oh, anyway. It freaks me out. It scares me so much, so I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> I, I feel really bad when I see that kind of thing happening. Um, anyway, this is Teodora's uh, uh, shell build. They made the Simsy little shell. They also made this science lab. This isn't one of the shells, but um, it's a room. That's kind of cute. Anyway, this is their little shell build. Oh, not quite a tiny home, but close. Or not quite, quite a starter home, but close, I should say. Um, uh, let's take a look at this one, 20 by 15. I think that's, we'll just put it over here probably. Actually, I think it's a new crest. Um, XO, I usually stream for three hours, um, pretty much every day, so. We will be here for that amount of time today. Um, that is a plan. Um, okay, anyway, Shelby, you're on thank you for the subs. Here is their little tiny builds. Oh, it's so cute! I love this so much. Was it base game? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, no, it's not. There's at least a few packs in here. Um, I'm the pink pillow. I'm so proud of myself. Meowpoo, I'm proud of you too. It was a great one. It was a great one. I love this landscaping, by the way. This is speaking to me. I don't know what it is about these flowers. These hydrangeas are my favorite flowers in the whole game. You know I love these. Every time I see them, I want to cry. And look at how cute it looks with all this other landscaping. Amazing work. Amazing work. 
Um, okay, anyway, <laughs> we have this little uh, table back here. We have a trash can. Uh, we have a grill and stuff, some laundry. We got some planter boxes. Um, and then when you actually come inside, oh my God. Do you know what? The use of this corner chair in here, that looks amazing. I've never used one of these in like a, I don't know, I only ever put it in like a bay window like in this, I've never thought to use it in just like a regular corner. Write that down, <laughs> write that down. That looks so good. We have a little kitchen over here, a little dining table in this nook over here. I am obsessed with this layout. This is beautiful. I just love that so much. Uh, down here in the hallway, we have like a little desk area. I love this bedroom with the blue and the yellow kind of like mimicking this color scheme. And then we got a little bathroom too. I love the black tile in there. This is such a nice layout. I'm telling you, I'm so impressed by all of the like floor plans you guys have done. Cause you would expect that like in a house this small, the floor plans wouldn't vary that much. And yet somehow everybody has done such different things with the interior. How do they do? And they have a whole hallway. How do you fit a hallway in this house? Like, how is it possible? <laughs> how is it possible? <laughs> uh, that's really amazing. It's beautiful. This person's username on the gallery is, uh, let me copy paste it for you. Tia, Tia Adora, maybe? Let me uh, copy paste it so you guys can get it. Um, I know it's kind of hard to like remember, so hopefully that helps. Yeah, I love this. I love the colors too, like this orange section with the orange couch and this. It looks really good together. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't wanna go too fast, but I also wanna get through as many as we can. It's like a, <laughs> a balance that we're trying to do here. Um, so bear with me. Uh, the next one that we're gonna do is Rainy Rav. Um, oh my goodness, hopefully this gallery name is right. Cause <laughs> it looks like it worked. Um, or do you have, are you on console, is that why? Oh, it's a pool, oh my goodness. We never see pools for this. That's so fun. A new place to pool down in the hot Oasis Springs, the dedicated splash park for the littles. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. And they're here, Rainy, I saw them in chat. Oh my God. And look at how close it is to being 100K. It's 94,000. This is your first shell? Is it really? Oh, I'm glad we're getting to see it. That's so fun. All right. It was 40 by 30, right? I don't know if 40 by 30 is large lodge. When we say, well, let me show you. On my bingo card, I put huge lot. I feel like 40 by 30 is not huge. So, <laughs> did a pool too and it was 96K? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a splash pad. Do you know what? This is my first community lot that I've downloaded from somebody else that has a splash pad. Um, yeah, I think 50 by 40 I could count as huge. 50 by 50 and 64 by 64 are the real huge ones that I was thinking. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody do a splash pad, like a for real splash pad section in their lots yet. So this is super fun. Obsessed. I love this little area with the tables. They put some clutter, like the little kids book and then the dolls and stuff. We got all these tables here, some more tables here. You can buy some food from this. We have an enormous pool, I'm obsessed with the sea turtle. And then the actual building itself is this section. Oh, they put pizzas. Oh, like somebody was having a party. And they put some pizzas out. We have some towels lined up and everything. And then when you come inside, there's like a kitchen and a bar. Again, did I miss something? Are we all using these now? I didn't know this was the trend this year. Everybody's got the expensive fridge and stove. Iconic, that, it's been like half the builds have these. And then we have the bathrooms, obviously. They even put a toddler potty in here and a changing table. I love that. I really especially like, I think the like the fun rainbow up against like the black walls of this, it looks really cool together. From bingo last time, yeah, maybe. <laughs> or they're just, I mean, it's a community lot, so there's no harm in having expensive stuff. You might as well have the good stuff, you know? Wow, I love this. It makes me want to build a pool with a splash pad. Because I've been meaning to do one. 
They eat, look, they even put the little debug. This is a debug uh, bucket. That's adorable. The kids can play with the water. I mean, they can't in The Sims, but you know, we can pretend. <laughs> I keep talking about wanting to do a splash pad. We need to do one. We need to do one. This is adorable. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. So, so, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put their, um, their name in the chat. This is their gallery ID, so you can copy and paste, and then we'll go on to the next one. There is exactly 1,250 left. Um, do you think that I can get to the ball? <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, the next one is Little Duck XOXO. Their gallery is Swim Bob. Let's go and see it. We can definitely finish. Yeah, I, I think we'll get to them all. It's fine. You got excited? Uh-oh. Sorry, Dika. <laughs> little Duck, not Little Dika. Oh my god. All right, this one may be a farm. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hold on. It's got potential. <laughs> You'll be done just in time for your concert on Thursday. Yeah, if we tried to go through all 1,000 of them, maybe I'll be finished by my concert on Thursday. <laughs> maybe, maybe if we're lucky. Oh my goodness. I love this with the bridge over the water. They have a barn. We have some farm plots. We got Patchy. Uh, back here, we've done like a little, oh my God, look at this little area with the fairy lights. They also have a woohoo bush and a grill and everything. More gardening, chickens. And then if you go up these terrain manipulated stairs, oh, we got water collectors. <gasps> All right, chat, when we say, listen, listen, when we say pet corner, this is what I mean. Like a dedicated pet space. It's not one pet thing, but three pet things. <laughs> they also have all of these. I love how they've put, uh, put all of these vertical planners together. And then inside, oh my gosh, we've got two bedrooms. Okay, so we have like the kitchen here. I love the mini fridge, little kitchen, living room. More pet stuff, all in the same vicinity, pet corner. Uh, over here we have a bathroom. They fit like a big bathroom. We've got a kid's bedroom. I love, they put like an extra pillow and like some pretty stuff on. Are you kidding? I never put like clutter on the bed, that's so cute. And then we have the primary bedroom here as well. How do they manage to fit all that? This is so adorable. It's so small. I'm like, I I'm amazed. I'm amazed. It's the three Ps. They have the three Ps. Ponds, pets, plants. <laughs> no, I think, okay, so let's be logical for a second. All right? I think that we'll see another farm. I don't think that we'll see, I don't think that we'll see another um, pet corner. So we cross off pet corner, yeah? What do you think? I think so. Oops, I just zoomed out on my Twitch dashboard. I said we cross off pet corner. It makes more sense. Cause we'll probably get another farm. farm farm? <laughs> we'll probably get another farm. All right. I love this one. That's so cute. What class is a starter? A starter home in The Sims is under 20,000 simoleons. So like you can buy it when you first start playing. Under 20k is the number uh, for an official starter home. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right. Megan8908 is the next one. Megan Walker 513 is their gallery ID. That person's was Swim Bob EA for the last one. <gasps> Little Shell Daycare! Oh my god, oh my god. We've been wanting to see a daycare. We've been wanting to see a daycare. Okay, that's so exciting. Little Shell Daycare is the per is perfect for the little ones of San Sequoia, located in Gilbert Gardens on the 40 by 20 lot. Yes! Okay.
Okay, let's go see it. Let's go see it. San Sequoia. Shall we? Um, okay. Okay, let's go place it on the 40 by 20 lawn. Let's go see. Keep being about to leave, but then you get too excited for the next build. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, let's take a look. Oh my god. How cute is this? They even put the school bus. And they have like all the little signs. No pooping. <laughs> Speed limit. Bus stop. The no pooping sign combined with these two. That is so funny. We have a parking lot. We have the school bus. There's a vending machine and a dumpster back here. So you can dumpster dive for money. In the... Oh my god. What is wrong with you? Shark pond in the daycare. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so... We can potentially cross off Shark Pond on the bingo card. <laughs> that is a Simsy move right there. You learn from the worst, huh? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> They've got like all these death traps. The Shark Pond, the telescope. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, anyway. We also have the cute swing sets. I love this little section. This undercover with like the pretty seats and the, the screen. Uh, we have some more kids stuff. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I did BT on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, and a vending machine. Oh, it is a death trap lot. We got, look, see, they use these again. The water balloons. We got a little toddler uh, pond. I mean, pool. God, toddler pool. Um, <laughs> look at this cute little craft section, too. This one was built by Megan underscore Walker 513 on the gallery. Let me put the name in the chat. Um, and then inside, oh, look at how cute it is. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. You have no idea. The color scheme in here is adorable. So we have a little baby section where they can go in the baby gate. We have some cribs. Uh, we have like the little employee section. So they have a desk and like a fridge and everything so we can feed the kids in the kitchen. We have the bathroom, changing table. I want to build one of these. <laughs> I want to build a daycare. I'm going to put it on my schedule because I want to build a daycare. <laughs> I really like that. That's so fun. I want to build a splash pad too. I'm putting them both on my, on my upload schedule. I love this. This is so cute. Okay. The question is though. Do we mark off nursery or shark pond what do you think we're more likely to see again here's my thing i know you're all saying shark pond right but let's think logically the building is very small so it's probably unlikely that that many people fit more than one bedroom inside like, we've only seen one two-bedroom house, and they had bunk beds, not a crib. But the shark pond is such a meme on our streams that it's, it's possible that somebody else used it. Right? I don't know. 74% of chat says to mark off nursery on the bingo card. I think I'm gonna mark off nursery. I think we'll see a shark pond again. I think the house is too small for that many cribs. We'll probably see a shark pond again though. It's almost like a game of like, we need to be logical about this, about what we're marking off. <laughs> What's in our best interest to mark off first, you know? Okay. Now we just need creepy. Creepy and a rec center for bingo. The shark pond comes in, um, get famous. So, okay. The next one is going to be, I may play. <gasps> I built a 
base game film set. Oh my gosh, base game. That's good. Let's go see. Really, Miyapu, you don't even have cats and dogs? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got excited about thinking you were gonna have a pet bed in there. Um, I made a Wild West themed film set for the mystery feature film Simposter the Movie. How do people come up with this stuff? This is base game? Wait, what lot was that on? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, this is in, I don't know, Newcrest maybe? Maybe I'll put it here. Probably not here, but it'll be fine. It might be Willow Creek, but I'm putting it here. Film set is a fun idea. I've never built a film set before. Uh, this one was made by I May Play. I M A E Play on the gallery. I don't know. How? Literally, how? So they used all these base game shells and put them together so it looks like a film set. I don't, I didn't even know we had some of this stuff in the base game debug. I guess a lot of it's from like sim sessions, huh? This is unbelievable. I am absolutely obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Okay, so here's the actual shell part, right? Um, it looks like in here, we've got like where they're getting their makeup done and stuff. They put all the debug makeup. We got a place to sit. We got some custom posters in here. Uh, we have the kitchen and a bathroom. This is unbelievable. I'm so impressed. It's cool too, cause obviously it's like bigger than a lot cause they've got the shelves off the lot here, but what a fun idea. There's so many details in here. This is just so fun. Even down to like the pizza box next to the trash can. Amazing. It has two shells, does it? I think it's just the one. These are fake shells of buildings, kind of like these things are. This is so cool. So cool. Even have the bathrooms out here. What a fun build. I bet this was really fun to make. I can imagine like having so much fun scrolling through debug to like pick out the stuff for it, you know? This is so cool. Is it the gray house on the end, one of the shells? Uh, this one, or do you mean this? This is a different lot. <laughs> um, this is a separate, that's somebody else's shell build. This is, this is the lot right here. This is somebody else's shell build from before. <laughs> uh, what a fun concept though. Okay, well, uh, take that as us crossing off base game on the, on the thingy. That's so fun. We've gotten pretty good progress. We've got like halfway. So how much was the lot? Uh, I don't know. Let's, oops, let's check. 34,000. Not too bad. A lot of it's debug, so a lot of it's free, um, which is pretty helpful. All right. We are on to the next one, who is Dr. Monster underscore, and their name is the same, or Dr. Monster 15 on the gallery, I should say. Dr. Monster 15. Windenburg Castle Museum. Besties. Is that a moat? No, 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 no. I think. I think we're talking moats today. Oh my god. Had to upload this one since it has a moat. <laughs> yes! Okay, 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 okay. This is in Windenburg. The moat thing has become such a meme on this channel. I knew people were gonna do it. There was no way people wouldn't put a moat, you know? I'm so excited. The way that this moat thing has such a hold over all of us, we're obsessed with the concept. Oh, that is a moat. 
Oh my god. They made it look like an old abandoned castle. This is so cool. They put the bathroom in the back. There's even a rooftop, miraculously. And on the rooftop, we have like a fire pit. Uh, we have a death trap. <laughs> we have an easel. This is such a cool idea. Inside, look at the water. Oh my God. Just a chess table. And then we have like some display stuff, like the swords and everything. It's classed as a museum. It's the Windenburg Castle Museum. This is such a clever idea. And then the stairs take you up to the rooftop. What a fun concept. The terrain they did for this as well, the moat looks so good. And I'm not just saying that because it's a moat. I understand that you might think I'd be biased. But this is really cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. The, this is just such a fun concept. I feel like it lends itself really well to the shape of it as well. It's fun when people make shells and you like, you almost can't tell that it was a shell. Like it looks like they built it this way on purpose. I don't know, that's just awesome. Yeah, I commented on it, I think. I've been commenting cool in all caps. Oh no, I didn't comment. How about I type whoa with a bunch of exclamation points. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay. Not to move too quickly, um, but there are in fact 1300 requests. So I want to see if we can get through at least a couple more <laughs> as fast as we can. Um, okay. The next one is Stardew Beans. Um, Stardew Bean on the gallery. Let's go see. Let's take a look. Cute little home. Cute. Oh, no, no, no. Has to be all caps. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to comment cute lowercase. Cute lowercase seems offensive. All right, it's not quite a starter, it's 26,000. It is their first time ever attempting a shell challenge. That makes me so happy when people do it for the first time. I just get so excited. I'm so glad that you did it. That's so fun, okay. Let's go put it here, how about? Um. We shall go and see. It's your first shell challenge too? I'm glad. This is why I really wanted to do another tiny one because I feel like the tiny ones are less intimidating to start off with, you know? Um, I'm shaking. Well, I'm glad we get to see yours. I'm glad we get to see yours. This is super cute, by the way. The roof looks great. It's really nice how you covered the whole thing. And then we have some really cute landscaping. I love the chess table on the little porch. Um, around the back, we got a little fence that takes you back here. Oh. We got another death trap. <laughs> we have a swing set. You know what? This horseshoes thing from Outdoor Retreat is underrated. This item is fun. I should use that more often. All right. But, oh, no, I was trying to... Oh, I was trying to click off so I could write build a cabin on my upload schedule, and I clicked off the build by accident. <laughs> Sorry. It's a hot key on my keyboard. I did not mean to. I love this though. Okay, and then we also have a grill. And then inside, another death trap. <laughs> we got a Murphy bed. Uh, we got a little TV here. We have a desk. We have this adorable kitchen. We got a sprinkler system. So that's one less death trap. Your Sims probably won't burn. <laughs> and then we also have a bathroom over here. You know what? Your bathroom is huge. This is the thing. How do people manage to make it? They also have laundry, which is fun. I love that. It's so fun how people do the floor plan so differently though. I haven't seen any bathroom this way. This is a great use for it. It's nice how it's so big. Like you can fit laundry in here. My bathroom was two by two. I couldn't fit anything. I didn't even have a sink. <laughs> My bathroom was a tub and a toilet. That was it. It's so, it's so cool to me how people can manage to take the same thing and make it so different. Like this house seems spacious somehow and it's tiny. It's just so fun. Anyway, um, I think I don't want to, do we have anything on the bingo card for this? I guess we already crossed off the, uh, I sh you know what I should have put is a Murphy bed on this. I didn't though. That's okay. Let's go to the next one. I should have put Murphy bed. We know for next time. Now that I said that everybody's going to use a Murphy bed. <laughs> 
Now that I said it, we're all gonna do it. All right. The next one is Caroline Compton. Their name is Dovey Plays on the gallery. It wasn't a starter. It was like 26,000. Um, no, it's not too late. You can still submit a bill if you want to. If you've been working on it today, submit it now. Um, oh, and annoyingly, ads are about to play. So I'll let them play and we'll come back and do it after they play. How about that? Um, so nobody misses anything. While we're here, we can look at their other builds. I like this one. Town Square Terrace. Nightingale Cottage. They're good. Look at this sim. She's pretty. Sorry, I'm like stalking your gallery page. <laughs> I feel bad. It, it looks good. <laughs> You've got some nice builds. You ordered Olive Garden for dinner? Oh my god, Dika's gonna be furious. Well, no. If anything, Dika should be flattered that you're honoring um, traditional Italian food by uh, purchasing dinner from the most traditional Italian restaurant in the whole of the United States. <laughs> I heard that and woke up from my stream now. <laughs> he fell asleep. He hears Olive Garden. He like snaps awake. <laughs> he thinks it's a nightmare. It's real life, in fact. <laughs> You're making me want to order dinner. It's actually better than Italy. You know what? I went to Italy once. And look, I'm gonna say it. Olive Garden, better than real Italian food. <laughs> we gotta stop, got guys, we gotta stop. We gotta stop taunting our only Italian friend, okay? It's bad. We're gonna lose him if we keep doing this. <laughs> we gotta stop taunting him. He's gonna leave. And then who's gonna make us CC hair recolors? Then what'll we do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this is W Plays, um, this is their shell. It's a tiny rustic little caravan with, back, with a back garden and flowers everywhere. It's a cozy home for a single sim. Cute! I love this roof texture, that's so adorable. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 lot. Where is that? Is this in Henford-on-Bagley? Is there a 20 by 20 in Henford-on-Bagley? I don't think so. Am I silly? Where is it? I'm just gonna put it, is it on, is it on the Copperdale one? The lighting looked too good to be Copperdale, but it might be. I didn't think it was in town. This doesn't look like it's in town to me. Eh, we'll just do it here. Eh, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, maybe it was, oh, it was Windenburg. It might have been Windenburg. Oh, well. And this works too. It's just a 20 by 20 lot, so it doesn't matter. I love the landscaping on this lot. This path with this beautiful archway. Honestly, this archway is kind of giving Henford on Bagley, but it's okay. This tree also is one of my favorite debug trees of all time. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. The weird little triangle that I put, they put the wind turbine there on top of it. That makes a lot of sense, honestly. Huh. Okay, so when you first walk up, first of all, this landscaping is adorable, super cute. When you first walk up, we have this little patio area. I love the rugs, also adorable. Oh, and when you come inside, look at the floor plan in here. I love the colors. This is a fun color scheme. This yellow stove, by the way, honestly, it's kind of iconic. It's really cute. Um, we have this little section. I've never seen this done before with the shelves in the corner cabinet. I didn't even think about the corner cabinet in this little corner area, but it makes so much sense above the fridge. We have a little like uh, place to hide the broom. We got a TV. We have some like stuff by the front door, like a bag and everything. Oh, they hung a curtain in the archway to the bedroom. Oh, we have like a little closet area and some art, a place to do your makeup. I love the color scheme in here. It feels very like, it's it's got bright colors, but it feels like bright in a calm way almost. It's kind of calming, it's just cute. And we got a full size bathroom. See, I did mine the same way as you. Like I had my bedroom here, my bathroom here, but my bathroom is only two tiles. Yours is better because you've got more space in here. Mine was very tiny. 
This is so adorable. Oh, honestly, this is my favorite part though. I can't get over this. This is so cute. I really like it. Yeah, the colors just work so well together, you know? It does, it seems big, doesn't it? And it's so small. Like, how do they do that? What was the ID? I was busy tormenting Dika and I missed it. <laughs> Their gallery is Dovey Plays. D-O-V-E-Y Plays on the gallery. It's super cute. Sorry, Dika. And sorry to all of the other Italians in chat. I would like to issue an apology to all of Italy for implying that Olive Garden is better than you. I was just, I was simply trying to insult one person. I didn't mean to insult all of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Jenny B. Sweeney is the next one. <laughs> Simsy insults all of Italy in one sentence. It was a, I was joking. I was joking. I swear. I swear. Oh, their builds are nice. I like this one. This one isn't the shell, but I'm just saying I like it. You know, I love that kind of style. <laughs> Made a trendy Mediterranean restaurant with tons of out di outside dining for the Simsy Lil Shell. Oh my god, speaking of restaurants. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Their name is Jenny B. Sweeney on the gallery, by the way. Um... Let's come over here. Amazing, amazing. The timing, <laughs> iconic. <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't know, all I saw, they just said their name. They did. Sometimes people will put like, um, they'll put like, oh, you know, I built a daycare in their description. They just put their name. Amazing, amazing. All right, I am obsessed with the color scheme of this. This pink is so cute. I cannot get over that. That looks so good. This tile flooring, I don't know, the fences. Ooh, that's smart. They put like some extra pathway in front too. Kind of around the side there. I love this lot. The outdoor seating areas with all these tables. This fountain? This looks beautiful! There's a dumpster. Woohoo spot. Iconic. And then when you come inside... <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. This wall with the plants that matches this color perfectly. Here's where you check in. I love how they put these bars in front of it. It makes it look built in like that. We have the pink tables. We got a little bathroom. A little tiny kitchen. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed with this. Are you kidding? I love how they have the pink, like the pink on the umbrellas. Oh, do you have a menu? <gasps> they have a custom menu! Oh my gosh, how fun! I'm telling you, making restaurants in The Sims is the best thing. It is so much fun to get to make restaurants like this and pick all the menus up. I like how it's a small menu too. It feels very curated. And they have like the gelato, how cute! I just love this. This is a great build. Jenny, you should be so proud. This is so beautiful. We've seen so many amazing things today. I'm having so much fun. I just love the shape. I feel like the roof was done so well. I'm like so impressed. It looks like it's on purpose. Like you would never know that like they were stuck with my weird shell, you know? Oh, amazing, amazing. Okay, I don't think that we have anything. What are we still missing? Cupcake machine, cat cafe, huge lot, rec center. These are gonna be hard. Tragic clown, expensive, that'll be hard. Cow plant. Occult Sims Creepy, Starter Home Farm, Shark Pond, ugh. Does it cost a ton? I don't think so. Yeah, it's only 44. The lot is quite small. Or the house is, or the building is quite small, I should say. So it's hard to, it's hard to get that 100K, you know? We came close, that one pool was worth like, what, 96 or something? 
All right. What is the next one? We are going on to, oh my God, there's 1,295 left. I keep thinking we're getting down, but then the number just keeps going up. <laughs> okay, man's cosplayer, M-A-N-D-S cosplayer is the next one. Let's take a look. There's a cat. Six infant challenge, Kayla. <laughs> I, I assume it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> it is just funny though. <laughs> okay. This is a house. It's pink. It's cute. It's 41,000. It's in Tartosa as well. Let's go see. You see the resemblance? Okay. I can see it. <laughs> Face reveal. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this one. It might have a pricey kitchen. 44K for a house is small. They probably don't have the most expensive kitchen stuff, but they definitely have probably some nice appliances. We'll see. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? We're gonna see the shark pond again. I knew it. Yes. <laughs> we got the pond. Okay, we got the shark pond. Thank you so much uh, to Man's Cosplayer for putting that in there. We've got a couple uh, interesting things. Like we have a hot tub. There's a bike, look at this pool, lounge chairs. I love this outdoor kitchen. That's amazing. It's kind of fun because the house is so small to have like a nice outdoor kitchen like this. I love the color as well, so pretty. And then inside, ooh, I like the blue. I'm, you know, I like this color. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, we might want to cross off clown instead of shark. Who else is going to use that? This might be our only tragic clown chance. We definitely want to go tragic clown, right? Yeah, clown for sure. The pond will come up again. The clown, hard to say. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my God. <laughs> um, okay. Um. We have this adorable bathroom. Do you know what? The dinosaur? Kind of iconic. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to open that. I kind of love that. I got you, don't worry. When you forget a mailbox, it puts it inside the house. Um, it's happening to me um, a lot. <laughs> so I don't worry, I got you, Bessie. I'll move it out for you. <laughs> Um, I love this. We have a little TV in front of the Murphy bed. We have this adorable coffee table. Do you know what? The pink accents with like the pink sunglasses, the pink on this, the pink on this. That looks so good together. We got a pet bed. I love this area. We've seen so many Murphy beds today. Wow. Sorry, I'm just in awe of, of the... I'm. I'm impressed. <laughs> I love the hot tub. This is such a nice like vacation home, you know? It's got all the things you might need to swim. Shark pond, hot tub, pool. <laughs> We've got everything. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Uh, this person's name was Mans, M-A-N-D-S, sorry, cosplayer on the gallery. Uh, and the next one that we're going to is Ghost Onions. All right, fingers crossed that Ghost Onions comes through with something creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I'm like putting pressure on these people to do scary things based on their usernames. Um, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping. Did I forget to comment on the last one? Oh, did I? Oh no. I'll have to go back to it. Should I go back to it first? In case I didn't comment. Oh, I didn't. Oh gosh. Oops, thanks for telling me. I get too distracted when I'm streaming. Oh, it's a luxury beach house. What a cool shape. That's so fun. Luxury beach house is the perfect getaway for your Sims. Whether it's work, infants, or your mother-in-law, you can find an escape from all the stresses here in Sulani. Bathroom is non-functional, but it looks cool. <laughs> No, Bestie, I totally understand. I'm so with you on that. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Bathroom is non-functional. I love it though. It's about, it's about how it looks, okay? 
form over function, you know? Who cares if it functions? It's meant to be beautiful. The Sulani sunsets are so pretty, aren't they? They're so nice. Um, okay. <laughs> What do we got? Oh my god! <gasps> oh, they made a fake second floor in the roof. I was wondering, what could you have possibly done to make the bathroom not functional? The answer is this. That's amazing! See? Who cares if it works? It looks cool. I... I'm amazed, I'm amazed. The roof is so good on this. So this is the upstairs. There's a ladder to get up here. They have a dresser. We've got some pretty chairs looking out at the ocean. We have the bedroom here. What a cool like open air space to be sitting. Oh, don't worry. You, you, I mean, no one's gonna see you. Well, A lot of sims hang out over here, and a lot of sims do swim by, but that's okay. You know, there there's a half wall, so they won't see you pooping. They will see you showering. That's okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, downstairs in here, oh, the yellow kitchen! You know I love this yellow swatch. Um, we have this beautiful dining area. We have a beautiful sitting area by the TV. I love this chair in the, the corner. A lot of people, it seems, put uh, the win like big windows in the corner there and made it like a highlight, like it was on intentional and stuff. I love that you did that. It looks really cool to like put stuff in the little corner. And then out back, we have some cool dock space. So we have like a bar, some lounge chairs, there's a grill, a shark pond. <laughs> We got the shark jet ski. What a beautiful house. I'm I'm just obsessed with this upstairs though. What a cool idea. It's so fun too, cause like it's a shell challenge, so you can't add walls. So they just added roofs and like tried to make it work. This one is by Ghost Onions on the gallery. Um, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, let's see if we can go on another one. I'm trying to get through as many as we can, I swear. Um, the next one that we're going to do is going to be Gracie2356. Let's take a look. And their gallery name is not even close to that. <laughs> Are the jet skis usable? They should be. Um, do you set the names under your uploads? Oh, Elian, I'll, I will comment on every build that I tour today. Um, so if I see it, I'll have put a comment on it. So hopefully that helps. Um, do we cross off sharks? Oh, we can't. It was a joke. It it was a shark. It was a shark jet ski, not a shark pond. But it was close. Oh, cute! I love that blue roof. Oh, that's adorable. <gasps> it's a starter home. Oh my god! It's a mint gen for not so berry starter home. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a starter home. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's so exciting. I knew we'd get a starter today. I'm sure a lot of you guys built starters. I feel like that, I mean, it's so small, like, it makes sense. Does that mean we got bingo or no? <gasps> bingo. Pretty good. Interesting, we've had this one open, about to be bingo for a long time, but woohoo bush, terrain tools, moat, starter home, nursery. Comes together for bingo. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm so excited. I love this roof. I don't think I realized how minty that shade of roof was. That looks so good. I'm obsessed. What a fun idea. I got you, Bessie, don't worry. <laughs> um, they have a little back patio over here. We got a trash can. They didn't forget one. Okay, inside. Oh my gosh. I love Not So Berry builds. They're so fun. Um, it really means a lot to me how many people like Not So Berry. It's so weird to like, because obviously I wrote the Not So Berry challenge when I was literally a child. I was like 17. I was still in high school. It was years ago. I made it with my friend like just for fun, like thinking we would do it and nobody else would. It's so interesting that so many people play it and like it's evolved so much where like people have made different versions. Like, it's just so, so interesting to me that that has, it has gone that way. I don't know. 
And a lot of people didn't even know that I made it. Like, it's not even like it's because I made it that it's popular. Like, it's just cool that, um, I don't know. It's really interesting that so many people like it. It means a lot to me. It's really, like, fun for me to look back on like that, so. Um, yeah, I made the Not So Berry Challenge, Amy. Um, I wrote it back in 2017 with my friend Always Simming. The rules are on my Tumblr, if you're curious to see them. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we made it, so it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, not so very. <laughs> I love this. They have a little kitchen back here. I love how they put the microwave underneath this cabinet. That's pretty smart. And then over here, we have like a little open um, bedroom area. Oh no, sorry. I didn't mean to yawn again. <laughs> I didn't mean to yawn again. Um, we have, I love this, the easel, like, in this little window area. Again, with the windows. This is so cool, too, because the, this was, like, a diagonal corner. And they use these, like, corner windows. So it looks like a square from the outside. How interesting is that? What a fun idea. Um, we have a little desk in front of the window with some cute clutter. They've hid, like, the yoga mat and stuff under there. Do you know what? These items from high school years are so good. There's just so many cute swatches. We have a TV there. We got a little tiny bathroom. And again, Growing Together has so many good swatches. Like this tile is beautiful. I love this house. I love this house. You know what else? I don't think I've ever used this swatch of these chairs. There's been a lot of new good mint stuff added since I last built a mint gen house for Not So Berry. Because I don't, I was doing that before high school years and obviously before growing together. So like high school years, 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 <laughs> high school years. There's a lot of growing together. There's so much mint stuff in the next couple packs or in the last couple packs, sorry. We should do another not so berry house. All right, write that down. Not so berry starter. <laughs> write that down, write that down. <laughs> That's so fun. There's been a lot of nice pastels recently. We've gotten a lot of mint in the recent packs. That was beautiful. Okay, where shall we go next? Um, let me open up the next thingy. My god. Okay, this is gonna seem... But equip YT. Equippy. My mod Maggie is the one. <laughs> lucky, lucky Maggie. She only put her name in the hat 35 minutes ago. Unbelievable. <laughs> we'll go look at it though. Maggie streams if you want to check her out. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> Another treehouse? I guess it makes sense that, like, they just added treehouses into the game for real. So it's, like, inspired people to do treehouses again. But we've seen two treehouses now today. That's so fun. I don't even think Maggie's still here. Imagine a tree falling on you and your fam doesn't come outside. Did it actually fall on you, Dad? Dad, can I show him the picture that Brett sent? Yes. <laughs> My dad was doing like, okay, I need to make sure that I like zoom in on this. Um, My dad was doing like yard work outside. Um, and he texted the family group chat help twice. I don't know if this is posed or not. This photo could very well be posed because why would my brother take it and not help him first? But, um, hold on, I'm zooming in more. I think this has to be posed. Because, like, what is this? Imagine this gets sent to your family group chat. Now, what's going on here? Not posed? So were you just there on the floor until Brett got there? Did Brett actually walk outside to discover this? He looks in so much pain. I think he's probably fine. That might just be his face. There is a tree on top of him, though. Are you okay, Dad? Are you good? <laughs> what was he trying to do? Um, I think he was 
digging out this thing? I think it was too close to the pool screen. So I think they were trying to dig it out. Show the tree after. Dad, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really want to. Cause I don't want to see the neighbor's house in the background. I've conveniently zoomed in so they can't see the top of the neighbor's houses. The other picture of you replanting it has too much house in it. <laughs> I hope you understand, Dad. Otherwise I would show it, but <laughs> I don't want I don't want to show too much house. <laughs> They can see this instead. What's wrong with the neighbor's house? Nothing's wrong with the neighbor's house. I just don't want you guys to see identifying pieces of the neighbor's house. <laughs> There's only so many things that you should share on the internet. <laughs> um, and identifying features of, of uh, your location are not one of them. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's a tree that fell on my dad earlier. He seems to be fine. He's here right now. I'm not scared of anyone. What does that mean? <laughs> My dad is so good at putting the most like weird cryptic messages in chat. What are you talking about? You might not be scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Anyway, this is Maggie's build. It is also a tree house. <laughs> okay, let's go place it over here. Um, okay, okay, okay. What are we on next? <laughs> Very exciting. I'm not scared of anyone, only trees. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love these tree house builds. This is so fun. Okay, so Maggie made this very uh, off the grid vibes, it seems. There's an outdoor shower, we got a sink down here, fire pit, ladder to get up to the tree house. There's a bar. Around the front over here, we have a grill, an easel. There's a, a lovely little cooler and a bench. We have uh, some solar panels up top on the roof. I love how it's got like a partial rooftop area. We have a death trap, a lounge chair, some planter boxes. <laughs> Um, and then inside, oh my god! This is cute! Oh, this color scheme is adorable! Are you kidding? I love these, these like pretty lights here. We've got the pride flag. Oh, I like the closet with the TV section. Why do you keep calling the telescope a death trap? Because it's possible for your sims to get struck by a meteor when they use it. Why do you sound surprised? Oh, I don't, I don't mean to sound surprised. I was just uh, surprised by the color scheme. It's like really cute and colorful inside. I didn't expect it to be like colorful. It's adorable. Um, I love this bookshelf in here. This is really, really nice. <gasps> what do you think? I feel like if we cross off cow plant, it's a little bit sneaky. Cause like, we know what we meant by cow plant. And we didn't mean that. We meant a cow plant. And that's not a cow plant. You know? But are we allowed to be sneaky? Cause it's one of my friend's builds. There is no plant. Yeah, no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's not fair. It shouldn't count. We don't get to count it, not like that. Not like that. Fine, 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 fine. Um. Oh well, it's cute though. It is cute. This is from high school years. It's like a fun tapestry item, kind of. There's a bunch of swatches on it. Um, easy to miss, because there's so many swatches, but. What's above the mirror? Oh, it's another one of the tapestry things. It's the same item, just in a different swatch. There's so much good stuff, I'm telling you. This is adorable. I don't even think Maggie's here right now. <laughs> I don't even think Maggie's here. Um, but she should be proud. It's a good build. Okay. The next one we're going to do is... Uh, let me go up to the next page. Uh, the next one that we're going to do is... Well, yeah, she was here earlier, but I don't think she's still here. Is Valkyrie Variety. 
is the next person's build. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's check it out. Ooh, cute. Oh, they did a bunch of our shells. Oh my God, look. Small Simsy shell, Circle Simsy shell, Aurora Simsy shell, New Year new shell, Simsy Lil shell. They did loads of them. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so this build uh, is a little tiny house it looks like, and I love the color scheme. I'm excited to see this. And an evil cake, yeah. <laughs> So Eloise, unfortunately, it's physically impossible for me to be able to get to all of these. Even if I wanted to, like, to comment on a thousand builds is, like, so, so impossible, you know? I really look through as many as I can off stream, um, and I try and comment on loads of them and stuff to go through before I make my YouTube video. Um, but obviously, um, at the end of the day, the goal is more so just for us to get to hang out and do builds together. It's not really feasible for us to see everything, especially because the gallery, like, she just stops working, as you know. You scroll to a certain point and then it is no more. <laughs> um, it just doesn't work anymore. Okay, well, here's this build. I am obsessed with this. How did they manage to make it look so good from the front? This is a cute color scheme. The gray and the black is adorable. Ooh. I have never seen this in my entire life. Oh, it's sized up. Oh my God, that looks so cool. I've never thought to use it like this. I've never used this. I'm dead serious, I've never used that. We should try and use that. This is the thing, I love these shell challenges because I feel like we see people using items in ways that I've never thought to use them before. Oh, they put the glass roof on top of the custom trellis they made? That's cool too. Huh. They also have this little outdoor space with some seating and this cool pergola here. We got a grill. You know, we usually do a shell challenge about once a month, typically. Um, once every two months, kind of depends, um, is around the, the general like frequency of them. Okay, so when you come inside, I love this gray color scheme. This is so cool. We have a little kitchen here. What an adorable layout. We have a little reading nook with the books and stuff. We got uh, a couch in front of the TV and fireplace. We got some cute stuff by the door, like the light switch and the thermostat and the umbrellas. Uh, back here, we have the bedroom. They even have a desk. And I love this with the closet built in. And we managed to fit in a big bathroom. This is a great floor plan. I love, do you know what? We've seen a lot of closet spaces today. I feel like I don't really include this stuff in my builds all that often, but we've seen a lot of people do it and it looks really cool. It's really nice. I need to make more of an effort to put closets. This is a beautiful color scheme. It's a beautiful floor plan altogether. I feel like it fits so nicely. I like this too, because there's kind of like a hallway when you walk in and then there's like a little nook for the computer. This person is Valkyrie Variety on the gallery if you're looking for them, so that you can go see. And annoyingly, as they're about to play again, um, I'll just let him play now and then we'll pick the next one after that, after we're done. Um, it really is so cool, Caffeinated. I feel like we've, we've been to so many builds today and literally not a single one of them looks alike. We've seen so many completely different things across like so many different varieties of build types as well. We've seen houses, we've seen tree houses, we've seen a pool. We like, there's so many different things that people do with it. And I think that's just why I like these shells so much. It's such a fun like game for us to play together, but also it's such a cool way to like showcase how creative people are. Cause we all had the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's just the same little tiny box and it gets taken in so many different directions, you know? Um, it's really awesome. You haven't gotten ads? Well, that's a win. I'm glad. Am I going to get Taylor merch what, at the concert, bro? Yeah. I'm wearing Taylor Swift merch right now, believe it or not. Um, solidarity. <laughs> no, I'm gonna buy merch at the concert, of course. I'm really excited. It's on Thursday, Sour Lemon. It's only a couple days away. <sighs> I'm getting nervous and excited. Nervous, excited. I'm so excited. 
Where's the hoodie from? Oh, I bought this from Taylor Swift's website. I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of her merch is bad. This one's okay. It just says 1989. And then it says, then it says TS. I don't know. So. <laughs> I'm really excited though. All right, I think the ads are done playing. Are we good? Let's go to the next one. Um, 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 um. Okay, there's 1,336, by the way. Yikes. Uh, this next user is Slay the Rats Away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's their gallery name. Um, I'm into it. Oh, it's a hotel? Whoa. Not super functional, more of a viewing piece, but can still play with teleportation sheets. Oh my god! Cool. 30 by 30 in Newcrest. That sounds like- is it over 100k? <gasps> it's over 100k! Okay, we won't cross anything off yet, just in case there's anything else in there we want to cross off. But finally we've gotten over 100k built. That's huge. We've- we're doing this bingo card. Um, we're trying to fill up all of these things. Um, we haven't seen anything over 100k yet. That's gonna be bingo again. I'll wait to cross it off just in case they've got anything wild in there. There could be like a, you know, creepy basement or something. Oh my gosh, I bet this is so cool in live mode. They've got the pond and it's like full of sharks. Wait, the staircase goes into the water? Oh, how cool is that? What packs did they use? Oh, this is amazing. It's a moat. <laughs> this could definitely be counted as a moat. Maybe I should bring a sim here so that we can see it without the um, VFX boxes. Because they've got loads. I could probably just travel with a sim. Mm -hmm. Do you think a hotel could work by using the stay over slash slumber party function? Well, the thing is, Gavs, you don't even really need to do that. If you wanted to build a hotel, you could just like, build one and then not leave and that would totally work so anyway this is amazing i wanted to make it sunny so that you could see like and see all into the water because look at how amazing the water looks isn't that amazing okay i need to come back though so i can see inside the build <laughs> uh, because i just visited there um you could also have the hotel be a rental um if you wanted to but I feel like you might have better luck uh, not doing that because it would cost you a lot of money to rent it. You can just build like a bar and then put a hotel room in it and then sleep there. And that works too. Um, okay, anyway, how beautiful. And there's obviously vacation rentals, but this one's got like four lots. There, so they use the shell four times basically to make like four different hotel rooms. And they're all decorated like little hotel rooms. How cute is this? Oh my god. Oh. This is from the, um, my god, what is it called? Happy Campers. Little Campers Kit. The Little Campers Kit has these cute little, I always forget the name of that stupid kit. It's the little chair. They put it on top of this chair so it looks like a new seat. How cool is that? We have this cool shelf here. Each of them has their own little private pool. And they've got a huge bathroom as well with like a corner tub and everything. Oh my God. And then it repeats, but in like different color schemes across all the different ones. That's so cool. They have two bathtubs in each of these. What a fun build. They have so many fish. It must have taken so long just to place all these fish. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's such a fun idea. Their name on the gallery, um, let me make sure I copy paste this for you so you can get it. Um, what's in the middle? Oh, I'll check. I wasn't paying attention to the middle. Oh, I think it's just like a hallway in between them all. There's kind of like a dock and then halls to separate them, I guess. And the, the total price of this lot is 139,000. So, Cost 100k plus. <laughs> we have officially done two bingos. 
We still need to find a cupcake machine, a cat cafe, a huge lot, which is like 50 by 40 plus. A rec center, a cow plant, a cult sims, creepy, farm, and shark pond. So, fingers crossed we'll get there. Let's go to the next one. There's almost 1,400 requests. <laughs> oh, God. Ruby, not spaghetti. You are next, Ruby. Let's take a look. Shark pond was twice. Well, so we decided that we could only cross off one thing per build. So if one thing, if one build had like three of them, we could just cross off one thing. So, did I comment though? Oh, I thought I did. I hope I did. I don't know. I think I did. I'm pretty sure. An artist's brutalist home with a pastel interior. I didn't comment on that one. Uh-oh. I'll go back and do it. The chances are not getting better. They're just getting slimmer. The thing is, though, it just takes one. Anything could have a shark pond. Anything could have a tragic clown. You never know. Sometimes it's the one that you least expect that has the scariest items. Let me comment on this quickly so I don't forget. Ah, uh, so cute. Okay. <laughs> um, so here's the finished build. I love the roof that they did. How cute is this with the pretty lights? Oh, and this pool, because look what it looks out at. Are you kidding? Oh, Tori, the Discord roll is going to come back tomorrow. When we're doing these shell tour builds, um, I turn off all of the other redemptions just to make it easier for the mods because it's so easy for them to get lost. And there's literally been like 1,400 redemptions today of the shell tours. So it's just very confusing um, when we have the other ones on. So the other redemptions will come back tomorrow just when there's like, you know, less redeeming going on, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is the build. I love the landscaping too. It's so cute. Um, inside. Oh, look at the little artist corner. This is adorable. And I love, love this green. We have this little pink couch. This is cute. Adorable bedroom. They have some paint or some picture frames, little TV. We got a tiny bathroom. This is such a nice lot. I think my favorite part is this though. They did a thing too where um, they use the two angled windows so it looks like a square almost. How clever is that? And they have this cool eco lifestyle fence as well. Hot tub? I mean, come on. Um, this glass fence, I'm pretty sure this is the one from Get Together. Yeah, it is. How cute is that? Wow. Okay, I'm obsessed. I love this green door too. Such a cute color scheme. It's so fun how you guys managed to do such cool modern builds. Do you know what else? I did this once too. This is um two platforms and it looks like there's like an, a cool opening almost in it. It looks like a fun feature. And so they can add that on. It's fine. It's just platforms. I did that in our, um, was it the spa that we built that we did that? with the two platforms stacked together because there's a hole in between them. It just looks really cool, right? Yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. Okay. That was Ruby, not spaghetti on the gallery. Uh, and the next one we're going to do is Ugg Mira. And their name is Sorry I'm Mira on the gallery. Let's go take a look. What do we got? Ooh, is this one of the shells? No, it's just a fun build. Look at all their builds. Wait, this is it? <gasps> Welcome to Voidland Splash, a mixed use community slash retail lot associated San Sequoia's water park. Stop by to change into your swimsuit, pick up the essentials for a day in the sun or some good eats. Then feel free to check out Voidland's signature toy store along with Clarissa's boutique. Oh my god, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Sorry. I'm shocked by this. Absolutely shocked by this. We gotta see. <laughs> how? <laughs> Literally how? <laughs> okay, let's go see. There's so much stuff that they put in. They said, um, I don't have just one idea, I have ten. So, is it a rec center? No, it's a retail. 
Wait a minute. It's sunken? It has a rainbow staircase? No, you're joking. How did you build this? So they used the shell multiple times, obviously. And they put void critters everywhere. Oh, look at this fun idea. They used the, um, the splash pad rug to lay a cool pathway up to the front there. I'm in shock. I like, I don't even know where to begin with this, with the, this is so cool. Yeah, these are platforms. So it's a bunch of different platforms of different heights that takes you downstairs. Um, and then down these stairs, we have some bathrooms. There's some seating. We have some lockers. Um, this is kind of cool. You can buy like sunscreen from this. There's some more vending machines, so you might die. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have all this freezer bunny stuff down here. These are some of the debug parking spaces, uh, like uh, painted parking spaces from high school years. Um, this big rainbow is from Get Famous, for those of you who are asking. Where do we even start? So you can come up this rainbow staircase into this store. Um, in here, oh my god, is this the toy store? You're kidding. Or maybe it's the boutique. Don't know, we'll find out. It's cool is what it is. Over here, up these stairs, oh, this must be the toy store. This is the toy store, duh. This is the toy store. Look at all the posters, the games. How? How? They use this thing again. I never use this. Now two people have, that's pretty good. There's a photo booth out here. There's a real camera. So you can get some pictures with the waterfalls. And then over here, it looks like maybe there's some food. Look, you can make ice cream here. There's some bowls and some ice cream. And then you can go up this staircase um, into this rooftop area. And you can walk all the way across here to a ball pit and some toys. You can also access these like games tables and stuff. How did they do this? This rainbow thing is also from uh, Get Famous, by the way. And then inside this building, you enter from here. We have the bathrooms uh, kind of on this area. And then this door takes you into another store. Maybe the employees live back here as well. How did they do this? Their name is Sorry I'm Mira on the gallery, for those of you who maybe are looking to find this build. Um, that is such a cool idea. I like... I'm in shock. I'm amazed. <laughs> That's so fun. I've never thought to do this like sunken thing. I've done platform stairs before, but I've never thought to do like a sunken room with the platform stairs and I've never done rainbow stairs. This looks so fun, right? Like what a cool concept. I'm impressed. And they got to use so many silly things. Like they have these floating little like thingies, the void critter thingies inside of these fountains. Like when else can you use that? It's amazing. <laughs> it's truly amazing. Okay, um, let's go on to the next one. Write it down, write it down. I don't think we've got anything from this. No, no creepy. <laughs> The sunken build's a fun idea though. Um, the next one we're gonna do is more panthers. More panthers is the next one. Crumple bottom lake house. Oh, we already crossed off farm. No, we didn't cross off farm because that person had a, uh, okay. Because they had, I think the, the tragic clown painting. Okay, 30 by 20. Uh, this is out in, I think, Copperdale. Is it here? Does Crumple Bottom count as creepy? I don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. Yours is a paranormal research space. Oh, creepy. That's fun. <laughs> what a fun idea. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is definitely a farm. Wait a minute, are you kidding? Look at the roofing on this.
That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh. How cute. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll come back inside. Let's look at the rest of the outside first. Are you joking? Okay, so we have this amazing, beautiful color scheme and like roofing on this on this building. Um, don't step on my grass. <laughs> uh, we have some beautiful landscaping. We have some little farm sections here. We've got a pond, uh, some space to do laundry. Look, they even have some clothes folded and stuff. That's adorable. Um, and then in here, oh, it's like a storage shed. There's a boat, cause it's a lake house. So they have like their boat and their fishing gear and some of their gardening gear all stored. There's even like old marriage certificates in here. Oh, how fun. I love the story line of like having storage sheds like this. That's so clever. Uh, around the back, we've got a cool fire pit. There's a well. Some interesting signs. There's a woohoo bush. Don't go in there, they're telling us. <laughs> Is that a dead alien? Is there? Um. Oh yeah. That's a dead space squid. Sure is. Their origin ID is more Panthers. <laughs> um, okay, I'm obsessed with the exterior. Inside, we've got this adorable, super cluttered living space. We have the kitchen back here, a uh, little dining table. Oh my God, I'm yawning again. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know I just made all of you yawn. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm trying so hard not to. I did not sleep well last night. <laughs> I was having nightmares and now I'm making you guys tired. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, this is the inside. We have a little back door here. I love this curtain on this back door. That's so cute. I need to do that next time I use this door because that looks adorable. And then we have like just the living area. We've got some cute blankets stored back here. Through this arch, we've got a hallway. So that's where you enter the house. Uh, we have this little bathroom and then we have a little bedroom. What a good use of the space. I'm amazed. Look how do they have a memory box and stuff. The crumple bottoms purse and the suitcases because it's like a vacation home. Oh, this is cute. Do you know what though? I'm feeling like it's this is a garden, not a farm. Like when we say farm, it's not really a farm. It's cute but it's a garden, not a farm, you know? I don't think it's creepy, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful build. It's by More Panthers, if you guys are looking for it on the gallery. Let's go to the next one though, um, so we can get through as many as we can. There's so many more. <laughs> um, okay, the next one is Molly3304, and their name is MK3304 on the gallery. Cross your fingers for creepy. Yeah, one dead alien's not creepy. It's gotta be a lot creepier than that. Okay. Happy Swirls ice cream. Probably not creepy, <laughs> but definitely cute. Definitely cute. A sweet ice cream shop for your Sims, inspired by my core memory of getting ice cream on warm summer nights growing up. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. How oh, am I picking them? I'm picking them like randomized Eloise. That's the, that's the way. Um, that's really cute. I love this. This lot is in, um, I believe it's in Magnolia Promenade. My inner child just shed a tear. That's so cute. You're making me want to go out and get ice cream. <laughs> I could go for some ice cream right now. You're so excited for ice cream weather? Oh. Interesting. Imagine being from a place that isn't always ice cream weather. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Not all of us live in Florida. Yeah, okay, listen, I never even considered that. All the time is ice cream time around these parts. <laughs> okay swamp <gasps> that's mean it's not my fault i live here yeah it's a swamp what about it hmm yeah i've got alligators 
What about it? <laughs> anyway, here's the ice cream shop. It's so cute. They put a whole parking lot. I love that. That's so fun. Ooh. Oh, stinky. Do you think that the like melted ice cream melted out of this and spilled out here and then like rotted? There's even like ugly trash underneath this too. <laughs> Gross. Ew. I love that though. Did you put, oh fun. I love that. They added onto it. That's cool. So you have a little gate so the employee stuff's all together. We've got some outdoor seating around here. I love the mismatched chairs that you have. That's so adorable. We've got some little pet bowls, some picnic tables, little ice cream sign. And then when you come inside, oh, it's all pink inside. Oh, so there's a little counter where you can order. I love this menu. We've got the bathroom. Oh, it's a kitchen. So it's a, it works as a restaurant. I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's great. Did you pick a custom menu? Oh my God, it only serves. That's so fun. You can get like a root beer float. You can get some cream cola. You get some ice cream cones. Oh, that's so fun. I love restaurants in this game. The amount of detail that can go into like the the story and like the gameplay of it with the restaurant, with the menu picking I mean, is so fun. That's so smart. I wanna go here. This is Happy Swirls Ice Cream by MK3304 on the gallery. Um, also, Booping, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my goodness. When do you think you will retire, Kayla? I'm 23. <laughs> Wait, you want me gone? <laughs> no, I assume, I don't know what you're asking that for. That's funny though. I'm, I'm getting up there in years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love this ice cream shop. That's so cute. Let's see how more, how many more of these we can get through. Yeah. Um, the next one is beakers and baking. Alligator9393. Oh, these are my people. Alligator. Oh, look how cute this is. The perfect tiny home for any plant loving sim. Aww. <laughs> Okay, let's go place this one down. That's you, Beakers is here. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, let's go take a look at this. <laughs> or for a plant sim. Oh, that's a stretch, but we could try and say a plant, a cult sim lives here. I don't know. Okay, this is adorable. I love the rocks that they lined the pathway with. That's so cute. Okay, we'll play The Sims until she's old. This is my thing, Jessica. You think I'm gonna stop playing this game? No, Simmers for life. <laughs> yeah, do you know what, Riff? It is a niche talent. I, I usually can tell very immediately what lot the build is on. Um, it's how you know that I, I build a lot in <laughs> this game. Um, anyway, anyway, this is super cute. I love the like colorful accents, like this little yellow thing. Do you know what? I used to use this item from Backyard Stuff all the time. I haven't used this in ages. We need to bring this back because this is super cute. We need to like revisit that. There's a bunch of cute stuff out here. They have the like drink tray. This is from Toddler Stuff, isn't it? No, it's also from Backyard Stuff. I think Toddler Stuff has one like that though. That's so cute. We got some little like planter boxes. We have a grill. This swing set is one of the early bonus items from Growing Together. Oh, I hate that they did this. Basically, you can only get this swing set if you buy Growing Together before like April 27th. There's like some extra items that come if you buy the pack early, um, early, like in the first couple months that it's been out. So that, that's one of those items. It's super cute. I wish that they wouldn't do this exclusive content though. I don't really like that, um, but. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, in here, ooh, I love the plants. This corner is great for the plant window, for the uh, plants, I mean, like with the big windows. That's so cute. 
So we have a little uh, like living space here. I love the door. I love this window too. I'm telling you, growing together has some of my favorite stuff in this game. These windows are adorable. And then over here, we've got a little kitchen, little dining table, the little plant wall in the bathroom. Oh, that's so cute. Um, and then we have this super cute bedroom too. I don't think I've used this swatch of this bed. That's a really adorable swatch. It matches this pretty well because it has like the green from the leaves. This is a great layout. I, I love the, this bedroom's my favorite though, I think. I'm obsessed. I've never used this. I've literally never used this plant lamp. It looks really cool in here. Yeah, Amy, that sucks. Um, it just, I really don't like to do the exclusive content because so many people, the packs are expensive. So many people wait till it goes on sale to buy it. And that's why they're doing the early bonus content to try and get you to buy it sooner. But like, it just stinks because it leaves people out and then there's no way to get it again. Like if you don't have the money now, but you're gonna have the money in like two months, too bad, you can never have the early bonus items. It's just like, I don't know. Um, it really sucks. I really don't like that they do that. And it sucks because some of the items are really cute. Like this, this is super cute. There's, um, the other one is like a toddler slide, um, that is really adorable from growing together. This is the other early bonus item from growing together. It's like this little whale slide. It stinks. It just stinks. Anyway, this house does not stink. This house is adorable. <laughs> I love it, Ellie. It's really nice. Um, Let's go on to the next one. We'll try and get through at least a few more here before we get off stream. Um, the next one is it Chloe, it underscore Chloe, and their gallery name is C Porter 1997. Let's go see. Yeah, there's a super cute bike that's in the farming pack. It's only in the farming pack. That kind of sucks too. Um, poor advice. Poor advice is the best place to go in town for a mediocre night out. I got excited thinking it was going to be creepy. I don't think it's going to be creepy, but we can dream. That's a fun name. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, let's go see it. Let's go see it. That's a really funny name for a bar. We haven't seen any bars today either. So that's kind of fun. We shall go and see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Let's put it at nighttime to get the full effect. Do you know what? The roof is really cool. I love how they've made the like weird diagonal part into the entrance and they put this like special thing, the like extra roof above it. That's a fun idea. We got some fairy lights. We got some fun landscaping. We have these little newspaper things. There's some drinks out on the tables. We got some parking around the back. Some more fairy lights and tables. This looks great. This fits into the environment really well here too. Oh, cool. You use this thing from the industrial loft kit. Oh my God, this is great. The blue debug. Oh, you put debug lights with the street lamps. So in game, this square disappears when you're in live mode, you only see it in build mode. Um, that's really smart. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. The amount of detail in the walls, there's like the light switches, we got all these like the nasty stains in the wall. <laughs> this is such a cool idea. This person's name is C Porter1997, by the way, um, if you're looking for this build in the gallery. I'm obsessed. I really love the roof that you did. There's just so much detail, even down to like the AC on top, on the side of the building and everything. And the neon lights. I'm obsessed. Is that pipe inside debug? No, these are actually um, from the industrial loft kit. There's like a few different pieces. So they put them together. It looks really cool in there, right? This is awesome. This is an awesome build. Their name is C Porter 1997, if you're looking for it. Awesome work. You guys are making my day. We've seen so many cool builds. I'm just, I'm in such a good mood. Okay, um, let's go to the next one. We could probably get through at least a couple more, yeah? 
Um, I'm gonna get off stream soon-ish, but I wanna get through at least a couple more. So, um, the next one is gonna be Abby Faney, maybe? On the gal- or that's their Twitch name. On the gallery, this is their name. Let's go see. To where Dika? I can- I can do little Dikas, that's only fair. Look at their dog doodles. This has nothing to do with the shell challenge, this is just fun. But I- I like seeing people's pets. Christine, Riv, and Dika. You want me to do two or three more? All the rest of the mod builds. <gasps> Paranormal hideaway! Wait, 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 Hang on, chat. This could be good. Are your Sims convinced that there's something out there that's other? Sims scamping around on all fours, compelling you for a drink or haunting your house at all hours? Has your Sims seen too many episodes of Supernatural and Grimm and they want to get to work on figuring out what's out there and how to defeat it? We'll start here with the Lil Simsy Tiny Paranormal Research Center. This could go for creepy or occult, I think. Is it in Glimmerbrook, maybe? Is there a 30 by 30 lot out here? No. Where? I'm putting you in Forgotten Hollow. Whether you like it or not. So you're not retiring in the next year. Is that the same person again? <laughs> no, <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> I won't be retiring in the next year. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to? Okay, this is uh, this is Affy Fady's uh, uh, spooky research center that they've built. Um, ooh. Why didn't I put Peppa on the bingo card? Every time, for the last like three times, I put Peppa on the bingo card and finally somebody actually uses Peppa and I didn't put it. <laughs> okay, well, easily, no questions asked, creepy. 100% without a doubt, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> the way she's like hidden a little bit behind Vlad as well. My god. Oh, there's a security camera. Okay, and then when you come inside. Ooh, I like the vibes in here. They used all kinds of the fun stuff from like all these occult packs that we have. Is that a third bingo? I didn't even pay attention. <gasps> it is! We got this way. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's so fun. This has been really good. We've seen a lot of fun stuff today. Okay. Anyway, this thing from Werewolves, by the way, this looks so cool together, all these little posters. We got a huge fireplace. I love the books. We got a computer with some random stuff around. Oh my goodness. I love seeing what people do with this. This one is just so, oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we get through a lot more when the shell is small. I feel like we get to see a lot more peoples when the shell is small like this. I say as there is still 1,358 requests that I have not gotten to. Um, interesting. Maybe Peppa killed them. Yikes. <laughs> I love that one. Um, do I have their name still copied? This is their gallery username. Or is that Peppa? No. Say it isn't so. I think Peppa's the killer. She can't be dead. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. All right, I'm gonna go to a couple of my mods now because I promised I would. Uh, I did bully little Dika earlier, so it's only fair if I go to his build. <laughs> it's only fair. Ooh. The pink flamingo has established itself as a classic of the Del Sol Valley. Ooh. Interesting, restaurant was in shambles, about to be bought and renovated into a trendy cafe. And in fear of missing out, everyone started giving the place a chance before it closed. And now it's slowly gained notoriety among celebrities as well as the regular folk. Oh, so it's gonna get torn down, but then people started coming to help them out and then it got popular? I did see screenshots of this build. I also did see Dika send the description or the idea. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see it in game. This will be kind of fun. 20 by 20. We can kill Judith Ward's park, as she deserves. 
I'm excited. Peppa being the reason for those graces isn't too far-fetched. Uh-oh. You think Peppa's a killer? Now I'm scared. The roof is so cool. Are you kidding? How do you do that? How are you this? Little Dika is so good at community lots. Every time he makes a community lot, it looks genuinely amazing. Look at all these lights on this thing too. I'm, I'm in awe. <laughs> I'm in awe. Look at the lava lamps on the tables. You use the Star Wars tables, there's flamingos. I love this section with like the dance floor and like the busking station and the bar. Oh my god, there's a bunch of outdoor seating under here too, underneath this covered area. I love how they're all different colored, um, like, lava lamps. That looks so cool. And then inside, uh, it looks like here we can come check in. We've got a little bathroom. Oh. Okay, pee before you go. Pee before you go. Yikes. Um, and then we have the, and then we have the kitchen. <laughs> this is amazing. Did you pick a whole menu for the restaurant too? Oh, look at all the fun drinks. And then they have like some fun like bar type food, you know, sandwiches and stuff. Oh, they have churros. That sounds good. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. All the restaurants we keep going to are really deeply hurting me. Like, I want to eat now. This sucks. Yeah, I bet that bathroom was so fun to make. I love, like, the story it's telling. I, I love this place. Dika, you did a great job. This is really good. I'm glad we got to see it. I'm super glad. Best you go eat? I got two more to look at. Annoyingly, ads are going to play in three minutes. So should I just play them now? so that we can do the next builds. I, I already snoozed them three times, so I can't stop it. Um, should we do Riv next? Riv, what's your gallery name? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I remember now. Okay. Let's go. I'll pull it up so we're ready. Your dad's buying Olive Garden for dinner. Oh, in honor of little Dika. How nice of you to... B Witch's Cottage. Besties. Occult Sims. Occult Sims. <laughs> yes. I'll wait to place it until that the ads are done. Do you know what, though? I feel like after we go through this... Because we technically have seen a shark pond and a farm. They are just on bills that also had a different one. I feel like at the very end, we should be allowed to cross these off too. You know? Like, we usually do one per build, but we know we've seen a farm and a shark pond. We just picked other things over them. So... <laughs> Let's cross them all off right now. Um... This is Riv's Witch's Cottage. Let's go place this one. Um, we'll go look in Limmerbrook. Yeah, I look at builds off stream, Jane. We get through as many as we can on stream, then we look at more off stream. So, it's pretty good. That bathroom was creepy. We did mark off creepy already, so we can't go back to that one, unfortunately. Um, all right, what do we got for this cottage? <gasps> Oh, I love, I love the landscaping. I love the landscaping. This is so fun. Oh. One, two, three, dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Honestly, it fits right in. Oh, I love these pumpkins outside the front. That's kind of cool. And then we got all this mail out here too. And when you go inside. Oh. 
Peppa visited. Peppa was here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this really caught me off guard, okay? Um, I'm obsessed, though. This is kind of fun. Riv, I love this idea. I love this staircase up here, too, to this section. We got a little bathroom in here. This door goes to the outside. What, and there's, like, the showers out here. We got, like, the spider webs and stuff everywhere. What a fun build. I, lo I love the lighting, too. Like, the vibes, the flowers in this cauldron. Are you kidding? It's really cool. This is really, really cool. Okay, well, we marked off occult sims. We already marked off creepy. <laughs> but we marked off occult sims for this build. That is such a fun one. Riv, I'm obsessed. In particular, I'm loving the graves. Um, but I might be a little bit biased there. Um... So, <laughs> oh, it's lava lamps shrunk down for the lighting. Oh, that's really smart. What a fun idea. Did you like hide them in stuff? Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Um, interesting, interesting. All right, I think we'll do just one more. And I promise I'll do, I'll do Christine's. Listen, the mods put up with a lot. We owe it to them. We'll do Christine's too. Promise a cat cafe? Oh, I have not seen one. I don't think Christine made us a cat cafe. Oh, it's a cottage! Cottage Simsy. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've heard of Cottage Amsey. Now say hello to Cottage Simsy. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this idyllic home may be small, but what you <laughs> but what it lacks in floor space, it makes up for in charm. Complete with a dining table in the living room, one bathroom for potentially four sims, and the smallest TV possible. Your sims will be wondering if the chickens out back would like a roommate. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. They don't have room either. <laughs> it's two bedrooms. That's a good one, Christine. I'm into it. What lot size is it? Which, is it that one? Go away. That's what I thought. Let me in. Let's go. I'm excited to see. <laughs> okay. Um, this will be fun. I'm curious to see what the last one is. Thank you all so much for doing this today, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. This has been so much fun that we got to do it. Can we raid someone now? We always raid. Don't worry. We always raid. <gasps> Cheater, Christine! Cheater, cheater, cheater! Boo! No, don't boo, Christine. That's mean. Don't boo. That's mean. She did make it bigger. But that's okay. Everyone cheats sometimes. <laughs> Everyone cheats sometimes. The outside is adorable. If anything, I made it harder on myself. Do you know what? Here's my philosophy on this, though. Honest. My philosophy on cheating in shell challenges is that at the end of the day, the whole point of the shell is to inspire you and encourage you to try something new. So if combining two shells is what it takes to be inspired and combine something new, Sure, technically it's not the rules, but like, you know, and like technically you're not supposed to add a basement because it's like adding to the shell. If you have a genius idea for a basement, like, isn't that better than the specifics, you know? So I, if Christine's got to combine two shells for us to be happy, then Christine's got to combine two shells for us to be happy. Basically what she did, um, this is one shell kind of in this area. You see that? That's one. And then the other one, um, she like combined them together. So it's two smushed together, basically. Um, does that make sense? So this is the same thing, but like attached to it. Flipped. Does that make sense? It's kind of fun. It's just two shells put together. Technically, they shouldn't be touching, but like if we allow people to have them not touching, well, what difference does it make? See, she did it twice. She did it twice. <laughs> Doing the shell twice, that's a lot. 
Would it count as a farm? I think we crossed off farm already, but it would. Um, unfortunately, Christine did not give us a cow plant, which is absolutely devastating. However, the shell itself is adorable, so it's okay. I'm obsessed. We have a little farm spot in the back. We got patchy. We got some chickens, bees, flower arranging tables, birds. So cute. We got this little archway. I love that. And then when you come inside, it looks like you walk straight into the kitchen, which is adorable. I love the green. That's so good, Christine. Um, and then over here, oh, we have a little living room with a dining table in the corner. You use this thing too. I was just talking about that, how we like that so much. What will be in the next bingo? Oh, I don't tell people that. I decide the bingo the day I do the tours. Before I went live, I made the bingo card and I didn't tell anyone in advance because that way it's like sort of authentic in that you don't really know what to expect. So you don't put things on it on purpose. Although things like cow plants, I put on it a lot, you know? Um, bingo is just like a fun side game. You don't need to have anything from bingo in, in your build. Um, the bingo is just fun for us. <laughs> the bingo is just a fun little thing for us to do on top of it, you know? Um, so we have a little kid's room over here. I love this backpack. It could be better though. Wait. Yeah, that's better. Um, <laughs> and then, um, we have the little beds. I love this one so much. Over here we have the primary bedroom. I love their little shoe clutter. And then we have this little bathroom right here. I'm obsessed with that tile. I don't think I realized how nice. This is the tile from high school years combined with the growing together wall tile. Those look really nice together, Christine. That's a good idea. I love your clutter in here. Super adorable. Huh. Well, you know what? We've had a great time today, I think. Um, on the gallery, if you guys want to see any more of the, the shells, I kind of should probably get off stream here soon-ish. Um, but if you go to hashtag um, Simsy Lil Shell, that's the hashtag we use for this. You can scroll through here and, and see some other folks' builds. There's a lot of them and a lot of cool ones. We made a thrift store. I mean, there's so many, there's so many cool things that people make, you know? Um, so hopefully you get a chance to look through these. Uh, and see some of the cool stuff. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't get to everyone's today. Um, I only missed 1,367. <laughs> so only a couple that we didn't get to. <laughs> um, do you know what though? Can I be honest? Do you think that we could count Maggie's cow plant poster? for one more thing, because there was a cow plant tapestry. So we only missed four. We missed a huge lot, cupcake machine, rec center, and cat cafe. I am shocked that we didn't see a cat cafe because we see cat cafes like every time. I knew the rec center was gonna be a long shot, but I had seen a couple people tell me in chat that they built rec centers. So I was like, maybe, fingers crossed. Cupcake machine, also a long shot, but you know, we could have tried. And the huge lot, the lot was, the, the building itself was so small, that was gonna be hard to find too. Um, no, it wasn't actually a cat cafe. Um, it was just a cafe. There was no cat stuff in there. So we didn't actually find a cat cafe. And the biggest lot we saw was 40 by 30. So that wasn't really that big. There's definitely big lots on the gallery though. I'm sure if we filtered by like 50 by 50, I'm sure somebody did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, loads of them did it. We just didn't get to see any today. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad we got to do this. The shell challenges are super fun. I'm going to try really hard to comment on loads of these um, this week so that uh, more of you know that I've seen your builds. Um, and I'll make a video probably for this weekend um, doing the tours for YouTube. I think I'm gonna post it on Saturday. I'm probably gonna record it tomorrow though, um, to post on Saturday. So that's my plan. That is my plan. This has been really fun though. So thank you all for hanging out. I'm gonna reject all of the points right now. Reject all and refund. So if I didn't get to yours, you'll get your 99 points back. <laughs> um, it is rejecting them all right now. Magical. Um, when we get a new shell, um, we usually do one about one once every one to two months, one and a half months, thereabouts. Um, so we'll probably do that. Although 
Honestly, we'll probably do a shell in May during our play live stuff. Um, I think we'll do a play live shell. If anything, I might even do two play live shells it, during our stream, our charity streams in May, because I want to do one with you all. And then, and I'm gonna eat my words when I say this. I might ask my mods to make me a puzzle shell again, but maybe have them be a little bit more reasonable. Because last time, my god, last year, the puzzle shell that we did was a nightmare of all nightmares. That means basically like each mod made a room and I had to fit them together like a puzzle. Um, and they were not nice to me about it. And my game crashed. So I spent so long, I finally fit them together. And then my game crashed and I hadn't saved in a while. So we were like going back, looking at the VOD, trying to watch the video back and see what I had done to put it back. Oh my God. It was a nightmare. Anyway, so we're going to do that again, probably. <laughs> so we should have a couple shell things planned for next month. Um, oh yeah, I was near tears that day. That was a rough day. I'm sure you all loved it. But me? That was hard. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a bigger shell next time for sure. We did a tiny one this time, so we'll do like a regular two-story kind of vibe, I think. Um, you were so mad at us. Oh, I was so mad at them. The mods cursed me. <laughs> it was for charity, but it was it was a curse. It was a curse for sure. Okay, well, this has been so much fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you to everybody who built for the shell too. Um, I hope that you had fun doing it. The goal with these shells is always um, for you guys to be inspired and like want to try to build and stuff. Um, and I feel like we, we as the viewer, I, I think that we watching this back get so many cool ideas for like things to try that we hadn't thought of before. It's like, oh my God, I never thought about using that object in that way. Or I never thought to like combine those two rugs, you know? So it's really fun to learn from other simmers and, and get ideas and stuff. Um, it's, it helps with inspiration, I think. So Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I would like to go over and raid somebody maybe who is also playing The Sims. Um, in fact, my, my friend Momo, I'm sorry to do this again, okay? But my friend Momo has been doing an uncapped subathon for the last 12 days. They've been live all day, every day for the last 12 days playing the 100 baby challenge. And I'm not exaggerating. We're talking like at least 10 hours a day of the 100 baby challenge for the last 12 days straight. Not exaggerating. And, and they restarted because they said if they got to 1500 subs, they would restart. So they got to like 29 babies and then started over. So poor Momo is miserable and they only have one hour left of their subathon. Um, so if perhaps you have a prime sub available, you on your own can extend this misery. <laughs> All you gotta do is sub. <laughs> Momo, you will never escape us. <laughs> anyway, thank you for hanging out, everybody. Um, have the best rest of your night. And let's go say hi to Momo, shall we? You are so bad. What? I'm just supporting my friend. What's wrong with asking my audience to subscribe to my friend? I don't see any problems in that. <laughs> Okay, have a good night. Um, thank you, I miss you all. Thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff today too. I know I'm not good at reading them when we're doing the shells because I'm there's so much going on, but I hope you understand. And I'm so sorry that I didn't get to all of yours. Um, I know I just broke 1,300 people's hearts, but <laughs> thank you for hanging out. Have a great night. I love you, I miss you, and I shall see you tomorrow. We're gonna play some Sims tomorrow. Um, we're actually gonna do a base game build. I think we're gonna build the library for Newcrest, for our Newcrest stuff. Um, Anyway, have a great night, okay? Goodbye!